we're going to box all that stuff from Tackle Warehouse right there. Mm. You going to help me with it? Hmm? You don't know? We're live, bud. Say hi. Hi. So the camera's there. So what's up, guys? Hopefully you guys are getting in uh, to the chat or whatnot. Uh, I got Bateman Jr. here. Say hi. Mm -hmm. Bateman Jr.'s uh, been doing really good in school. You like in school? Yeah. How's your uh, reading going? Good. Good. You're writing good? Yes. Yeah. Well, good. So he got to come on the stream today. We got something special going on tomorrow. What is... What's tomorrow, Brooks? Neely's birthday. Neely's birthday is tomorrow. So, did we get Neely some stuff for her birthday? Yeah. Do you think she got any baits? No, she didn't. Are you sure she didn't get any baits? No. I think she did. Mm -hmm. I think we got something special for Neely coming up. She don't know about it. You don't know about it either. So, what's up, guys? So, it is Friday night. Uh, gonna let you guys know and I talked about I think the last time I streamed um, I'm gonna stream on Friday nights um, during college football season but when Tennessee plays the early game or the mid-afternoon game when they're done about seven or eight I'll probably I'll do a second Saturday night stream so uh, I don't want anybody thinking I'm trying to step on Flick Masters nuts or anything because his Friday night live streams uh, really good uh, but it's just what it is uh, for me um, so, I'm a diehard Tennessee fan. Now, if they start crapping to bed where I don't want to watch them, I'll just go back to Saturday night. So, um, but Brooks is in here rocking the six cents hat. Hey, go outside, open that door. There's a bag on top of uh, there's a bag in a box on top of that little shelf. Bring it to me. One that that's from Bateman. Yeah, Stephen Guthrie says, "What's up, Bateman and Bateman Jr.? What's up, Gary Kennedy?" Uh, boop. I got plenty of time tonight. What is that? that box up top. I got plenty of time tonight, so uh, I've got this giant tackle warehouse order that uh, you guys basically um, you guys picked it out. So I want to go through all the baits on there uh, with you guys and everything, and talk about them. Bateman Jr. wants to show them off, and we'll get to that in a minute, bud. And then, um, yeah. But uh, I gotta let you guys know that uh, the new Super Six sack from Six Sense is in, and since they basically uh, take care of me, I gotta make sure I give them a plug. And they had a really good sack this month. Uh, I took some stuff out for photo use. So anytime you want to order the Super Six cent, Super Six sack from Six Sense, that is a hell of a tongue twister. I'm glad I don't drink. That would be really bad. But uh, use the code Bateman Super 6. You get $10 off your first sack. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in here. Um, the 3.2 Divine Swim Baits. And this is a great time of year for these. You can throw on a little finesse uh, ball head, a small underspin. You can put it on the back of a, a finesse swim jig. You can fish it by itself on a small um, weighted hook. Really good color, too. Okay. Uh, electric shiner. Uh, see it's got that pearlish blue uh, belly, brown back. Here on Kentucky Lake we've got a lot of emerald shiners and it actually mimics them very very well. Uh, so I was personally very excited to get that. Um, what's up Chris? Yeah dude crank crankbait uh, bite should be getting good everywhere in the country. We're going. I'm going to show you some crankbaits here in a bit. Second, one of my favorite colors in the Divine uh, Shaky Worm, that is Grass Candy. You know, I love me some purple. Um, reminds me of the old Gambler color, uh, Peppergrass, they made in the Sweebo Worm. What do you think about that one, Bate Jr.? Good. Good? Yeah. So, love the shaky head. You know, times get tough in the fall. Got to have a good shaky head worm. You reading the comments? All right, next bait. I got. I actually had these out of the package for Instagram post. So uh, this is a, a, a very unique bait, or a unique color, I should say, because I haven't seen it before. But we're going to talk about some more unique six cent stuff in a minute. This is the the Quake Seventy, uh, one of my favorite lipless out there. Uh, really, oh, this color, it, this color's got some heat to it. Um, 
it's a new one it's called orange sunfish for so all you bluegill guys man this is a really good one and you know i used to be a guy that didn't like oranges or reds in the fall but over the last couple years i've noticed the bluegill colors and those reds will get bit in the fall especially um when you fish around a lot of vegetation because those bluegills are, are still moving around getting in there but really love this orange sunfish color mm -hmm. so i hadn't even seen that one before so i'm glad that it came in the super six sack um obviously i love the quake 70 such a good bait what's up darius king what's up josh welsh say hello bait junior hi uh, next bait i talk about this bait quite a bit it's one of my favorites in a great pattern for fall fishing uh, this is the Six Cents Flat 75X, and I believe that's a Threadfin Shad color. Yep, it's Threadfin Shad. That's going to work anywhere. Uh, going to be great uh, here on the TVA lakes. It's going to be great up north, great on the west coast. Just a very solid shad pattern. Probably one of the better mass-produced flat side crankbaits out there. Uh, like one of my favorite baits from looks. Six Cents. You can kind of see it's kind of got that old school balsa style body design and really like this so make sure you guys make sure you smash that like button for me uh share the video we're gonna stream for a while tonight uh we got 60 guys in here i think we can get 200 to 250 not a problem so all i see in the chat is bateman jr that's all i see i know they're saying hi to you that's why you gotta say hi back the next bait uh, from Six Cents that's coming in is Super Six Act this month. No, I don't even see like a single. I don't even see. I don't, well, I don't see. Even, I see that one, but. See what? A single bait. Bait man. Hi, Bait Man Junior. Hi, Junior. Let's see. Uh, how's it going, Bait Man, right there? See? Some people are saying hi. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I got some other cool stuff to show you. Since I, I literally laid a bait down and got it hung in this other bait. Oh, jeez. All right, we got it. How did that happen? Because I'm silly. Next bait is the Movement 80X. A very unique crankbait. It's not a square bill. It's a round bill, but it's got a really wide tail kick and wobble. Um, this is a great shallow water These crankbait. These are some killer hey. baits. I'm trying to explain some stuff. They're talking over me, bud. Anyway, the ADX is great uh, in shallow water, one to three feet. And uh, if you can hear this thing, it's got a ton of loud rattles. So, what's up? Nor Norm Coulter is in the house. Legendary crankbait uh, maker, Norm. You hear about the baby pig and the little pig dog. That's it. That's his babies. Uh, we're fixing to hear some stuff. I'm fixing to show you something from Norm in just a minute. Uh, he doesn't know what's coming. Um, and then, what's up? The last hard bait in this package is the Crush 100X in the Ben Milliken signature color, Gillikin. Great looking color. I've got a couple of these uh, myself, and. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're a guy that likes bluegill patterns, uh, you're going to like that quite a bit. So that's this month's Super Six Sack. Uh, I've been collecting all these Super Six Sacks. I've got about five, six months worth, and we're going to do a giant giveaway probably this week. I'd like to get to 15,000 subscribers. We're about 120 short uh, right now. Um, so I want to give away six months worth of Super Six Sack. So. AP fishing. I'd love to find uh, some swanks myself because uh, I had one, but it came in a super six sack, and I gave it away uh, before I really got to play with it too much. But um, that's coming. So, oh, that's our first unboxing of the night. We're gonna have a few more. So, I will give give you guys some details on the six months worth of super six sacks from Six Cents. What a tongue twister. It's coming. Uh, and I'm going to throw in something special in that as well. So, oh, we got one other thing in here I forgot to show you guys. A dadgum black and blue divine jig. You got to have a black and blue jig. Got to have one. Works everywhere. 
Someone said Bait Jr. Bait Jr. knows killer baits. Yep, sure do. Bait Jr., are you ready for your surprise? You are? Okay. Yeah. So. Yes, we do, Thomas, but they just got some new colors and baits in, and I'm going to show you guys like all those new colors here in just a minute. But I got to take care of Bait Jr. He's been doing excellent in school, and uh, Mark Menendez said he's going to take him fishing. But we got a little package here from Mr. Norm Coulter. So I, I, I did a sneak peek. I knew this was coming, but he doesn't. So you got it. We gotta see what you got here, bub. I'm reading the chat when when you're showing the bait. Yeah. So let's open this up. What? Well, see here we got one that says to Neely. Neely. So this is pretty cool. Look at this. These little mini Bass Pro tackle boxes in here. So I'm gonna assume there's a bait in here because Norm builds baits. One of the best boss of crankbait makers on the planet. That thing's really cool. Norm, you didn't let me know where you got these things at. I got some ideas for this. And we got mine. And we got yours. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready to get excited? Let me hold it. You want to hold it? Can you open it? Well, got hold it up here where people people can see. Okay. It says two brooks. Oh. You got a card in there. It says special built for Bateman Jr. from your buddy Norm. That looks cool. That looks cool. Dude, that's awesome. He dressed it up. He put it in a little box and everything. Let me let me help you get that, that open there. It's got hooks on it. Yep. Dude. You've got to show everybody. Look at that. Wow, your own baby pig. Here, I'll hold it up. Check that out. Look at that. It's got a purple micarta bill. Look at the colors on that, Brooks. Dude, that is awesome. That's probably going to catch some fish with Mark. Yeah, you think you can catch some fish with Mark with the that your special baby pig? Yeah. Norm, uh, appreciate it. Say thank you, Norm. Thank you, Norm. That. And I think you got to find a special place for for this bait in your tackle box too, dude. This thing is sick. Uh, I don't know if Norma run if this was a special bait junior color or what, but it's like got a it's like a smoky gray back with some purple blue flake in it. Look at me, it's with that thing. silver and purple full and this crazy blue micarta bill. I've never seen that before, dude. I think you're gonna catch a little jank with that. Yeah, I think I think I think. Neely's is the same thing. You think you do you want to look at Neely's and yeah. then we'll show her later? Cause she, Neely's asleep right now, dude. That here's the card from Norm, uh, Mr. Very nice of you, Norm. Uh, Mr. Coulter Cranks. Now uh, I know where we'll to put it. Where are you gonna put it? Here, um, give me the box. Well, okay. Let's let's put your card back in there. And, yeah. No, put your baby pig back in there. We gotta put put it in. There you go. And then, throw that away, and then put the card, and then just that. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, we probably have to take this back down. Dude. Yeah. I'll get some tape and tape it down. Where are you going to put it? Just put it. Don't lose that. Please. Where's your tackle box? Here, just lay it up here. We'll 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 find somewhere for it later, okay? Okay, that'll work. That'll work. I still want it full. I want to get full All right. Do you want to see what Neely's looks like? Yeah. But we can't. We get, we got to get Neely on here to show her. So, yeah. Norm also sent my daughter Neely a little gift. So Neely turns three tomorrow. She's currently taking a nap. Let's just. Let's see what Neely's looks like. Don't, this is Neely's first bait. Let's just don't show them. Let's just take a peek. Really no, them. we got to show them. All right. Unless Neely gets up, we'll bring Neely out here and mm -hmm. surprise her. S special built for the bait girl, Junior, from your buddy, Norm. And she got on Dude, this. what do you think about that one? That's cool. That's cool. Another a little baby. Is this a baby pig? This is...
A different bait, I believe. Yeah. We get the same call. We get the same. We, we Norm did. Same baby pig. We about as good as job packaging these as anybody could. Check this out for Bait Girl Junior. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. It's got a pink, hot pink back. Chartreuse on the side. Almost like an electric chicken square bill. I don't know if you guys can see. There we go. I had to get really close. Check that guy out. Holy smokes, Norm. What model is that? What model is that? Is that for, yeah, let me guess that's for you. This is the boxes they come in, actually. I'm afraid I'm going to get Norm really, really busy. He told me he's having trouble. Uh, the one for Bro Bateman Jr.'s color was Threadfin. One of one. Norm, they're going to hit you up here. And you're going to be making a bunch more of this. Now, this color of Neely's. Her first official bait. A Coulter Crank. Is a Warthog Sweetie Pie. One of one. Well, Neely's going to be excited. We'll have to get her a box. But, man, really love these uh, Coulter Cranks. Especially these little colors right here. I have to get this thing real close to the camera. There you go. Check that out. It's even got a red eye tie. I've never seen that before either. But kind of an old school color. But it's kind of that electric chicken deal. I promise they'll eat this one. Neely gets ready to do a little cranking. I, I think she's going to catch one on this. Uh, the warthog. All right, let's put this back in the box like Mr. Norm had it. Figure it out some way. That way we can surprise Neely with it. Yeah. If she wakes up, we'll get we'll get her in here. She'll have to put some pants on. She's probably looking up. We'll see. So tell Norm thank you again because he's watching, bub. We'll put Neely's back in this box. So, uh, the. Bateman Jr. appreciates it. Uh, Norm, you didn't have to do that, man. Uh, you're an awesome dude. And uh, you make some awesome baits. Uh, I'm sorry everyone's got you backed up so much. But that happens when you make good stuff. So, that um, bait is hot stuff. Uh, if anybody's interested in Norm's Coulter Cranks, I suggest uh, get on Facebook. Look up Coulter Cranks. Uh, Norm will post an update when he's going to have stuff available. Uh, and you can get on a list. Um, the wait period uh, ranges from right now to March is a really really busy se season and uh, I'm blessed he was able to send those uh, for the kids uh, and then the stuff I've got in the past um, but that's the best ways uh, and I will actually link Norm's Coulter Crank's Facebook page uh, in the description of the video when we get done so uh, AP fishing. I did not get a PL box. I went to, and I can see why people don't want to use the post office anymore. Someone asked like, a good question. Someone asked a good question. What is it? Where do you buy his baits? Your reading's getting good. Um, I let them. I just told them they can buy them off his uh, Facebook page. So, Bayman Junior does have a cool shirt. So, uh, but. The Norm stuff's great. There's so many great balsa builders out there. I can't wait to get Epic Eric on here very soon. Uh, and we're going to have a balsa, fall balsa cranking show. Very excited about that. So. Can I hold a bait up? I need Where? a bait right there. Let's see. Bait Junior, hold a bait up. I need to be throwing in Alabama. I'm struggling. What kind of bait would you throw in Alabama? Hmm. Swim bait? Mm, jigs. Jigs? That's a good answer. You're learning. When you're struggling, throw the jig. How about that? Yeah. What's up, Junior? Yes, Bakeman is on. What's up, Junior? Say hello, Victor. What's his name, Victor? You say, hey, hey, Victor. Hey, Victor. Bowling 21, you getting a bona fide yak. Man, I'd love to. Uh, matter of fact, uh, a subscriber on the channel uh, was in the chat a couple weeks ago. And they said, I got an orange bona fide shirt for you and got it in the mail. Number one, this thing looks good. I mean, I'm a pretty good looking guy, you know, but what do you think? I mean, 
good. Th think I'm pretty good looking, dude? Good job rating, Gina. Yeah, see, your rating has come a mile, and I'm so proud of you. Um, Bateman Junior's math and rating has just went so good this year. Um, I think it's been good for him coming up on the Bateman show. You think it's helped you learn? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Someone said it's up to you. What's up, Tankster twenty one forty six? Um, but so they sent me this uh, bona fide shirt, and man, I like it. You know, if I had a little bit better, bigger guns, it might be um, even better. But I would like to get a, a bona fide. Uh, that's kind of the number one kayak on my list I'm looking at. But, uh, you know, Alex Rudd made some good, um, made good sense with the pedal uh, kayaks and stuff like that. So. How, how to Dave Bateman and... It's, it's Howdy Bateman and Bateman Jr. Howdy, Michael Man, what's up? Uh, Stephen Guthrie says, my local Walmart started carrying six cents crate and baits. Uh, yes, uh, so Walmart has six cents crank baits. Uh, the Quake 70, my favorite color, Tiger Truce, is in my local Walmart. And the Six Sense Terminal Tackle, so you can get hard baits and hooks. So. What's up? What's up, Don Bait G? Bait and Bait Jr. Hi. J-Rod says, start paddling and you'll get them guns. Yeah, the, the couple times I have kayak fish, you start, the, the paddling is the rough part. Uh, my problem is the, the paddle falling everywhere and stuff like that. So, won't you scoot your chair up so you're not leaning all over the table? Um, I'm going to do something really redneck here. Oh, donation. Old Toad wants to know, Junior, what's one times five? That's multiplication. Do you know one times any number is the same number? So if one times four is four, what's one times five? Five. Good job. Pound it. Thank you, old Toad, for the five dollar. Make you holla. And guess what else is five? His donation. Oh. Straight cash, homie. So now you learn to multiply on here. Have y'all done multiplication yet or just addition? We haven't. We did addition plus and separate. Plus and minus? Yeah, but we haven't done multiplication. Well, you just did multiplication. One times any number is the same number. Do you know zero times any number is zero? Well, now you do. Anyway, hold on. I got to pull something up on my phone real quick. And I gotta mute it. I gotta mute it. All right. Straight bass, homie. That's right, old toad. So make sure you guys smash the like button and give this video a thumbs up. That's what the like button is. Oh. But that's okay. Give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the stream, um, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button if you like what and we're doing on here. Yes, and hit the bell so you get notifications when I go live. And upload videos and stuff. So. Oh, comment on the video in the thirty sixty minutes. Okay. All right. Uh, you paddle from your core and legs. I would recommend a pedal drive or put a trolling motor on. I have an SS one twenty seven inch work to paddle to my spots. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Kentucky Lake's so big, and I want to move around quite a bit. I really feel the bona fide for doing the floating and cool fishing in the rivers and some small lakes. Uh, stream stuff like that i think would be awesome uh but as far as lake fishing i really feel like a hobie or a pedal drive would be the best so michael man great question kevin do you think it'd be a good idea to stock up on fire crawl jackhammers before pre-spawn comes around or is that an overreaction well if it was me i would get green uh, the green pumpkin red um Crawl, and I would stock up on fire crawl now because they're 14 15 bucks a piece uh, I feel like everyone's stocked up on them. So they're even cheaper uh, on the internet Go ahead and grab some um, I do that all the time. I buy stuff For the spring right now, especially when tackle warehouse starts having Thanksgiving sales and labor You know just had the Labor Day sale Never can have enough red crankbaits, and that's something I'm missing is red and bluegill crankbaits.
crankbaits. So. And like Colin J says, stock up now and sell them for 40 later. I mean, it, it works like that. So, what's up, Cole? Glad you're back in the stream, man. I had a great time streaming with you uh, last Saturday night. And uh, had some of your subscribers come over and make some great comments. So, uh, we're going to do it again. Ooh, Motor Guide XI3 Game Changer for the 127. So, I'm possibly going to have some access to Motor Guide XI3 very soon. So, that's one thing um, about... Um, uh, a bona fide I could do is I could mount a motor guy on and I've, I've thought about that so um, here's a great question bass fishing full Z what's the holy grail of square bells in your opinion um, well if it was balsa uh, I would have to be honest with you and I don't have one they're super rare uh, my man Norm uh, a lot of his baits are inspired by and influenced by this guy. It's a Ronnie B. Uh, the Ronnie B original um, baby pig. Um, that would... The love plug, actually. The Ronnie B love plug. That's pretty much the holy grail of square bills for me. Uh, I love the body style. Everything about it. You look at uh, stuff Norm's done. Even the, the Spro Little John. Stuff like that. are all inspired by kind of that, that Ronnie B... Um, love plug and I'd love to get one um, but I listen I don't mind shelling out 40 50 bucks for a plug but the prices on them thing are crazy but that's the holy grail as far as balsa uh, once you get into a regular plastic square bill um, you know some of the old school lucky craft maybe but um, I will tell you there's a balsa bait it's got a monkey brain over in Japan and I think the one I'm wanting is called a leafer, and it's about three, four hundred dollars. But they have the craziest chartreuse and purple uh, you've ever seen. Um, AP fishing, I kind of agree with that. Putting a trolling motor on your kayak no longer makes it kayaking. That's boating in a small boat now. Uh, this that is something I've thought of, and I kind of feel like you kind of lose the. Um, prestige of kayaking or the um you know you're you're basically getting out of a bass boat you're making it simple and if you add a bunch of electronics and stuff you're kind of it's not pure the pureness of kayaking but i'd love to be able to remove it when i can um i do think as far as pure kayak tournaments um some people may disagree uh but i think uh Pedal and paddle is fine, but trolling motors and propulsion systems should not be legal um, in kayak tournaments. Because, again, essentially you're making a small boat. So. Randy Brittingham, hey, bait man, know anything about Waterloo rods at Academy? Man, I don't. I sure don't. Robert Ellis, bait man, JVD here. October is here. Girls help. Neely's up. Hey, tell mom to put some pants on her so she can come see her bait, okay? Best topwater for matted grass. I'm going to go with a frog. Uh, a frog and a fluke work really good on matted grass. So, Big man, do you know anything about the Mega Bass V-Twin prop? Uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't. Um, there's a lot of Mega Bass stuff out there that I don't know about. Uh, ben Keller at Hookup Tackle... Okay, well, she can come on later. It's she probably... She said she wanted to go, but now she doesn't. Okay. It is probably the best. So. I have not fished the Bell's Gill. Um, I haven't done any fishing. I've, I've worked 61 hours this week. Uh, I planned on doing a tackle. This this unboxing I'm fixing to do live. I was going to do it uh, as a regular video. I just could not have the time. I've been working on Mark Menendez's TV show. Uh, it's crazy um it's it's just so busy i wonder if i can put uh i think i can show you guys the mark menendez uh video that i have done here is 
This is the opener that I have got done for Mark's TV show. So that was uh, that was uh, the opener for the Mark Menendez MM Bass TV show, which is going to be here locally. Uh, Mark wanted me to let you guys know. Make sure you subscribe to his channel because we're going to put uh, MM Bass TV episodes up on his YouTube channel the week after they air on TV. So after it airs on our local um, channel. I'm going to put them up on YouTube, and we'll have links to all the baits and stuff on there. And Mark said he would definitely wants to come on to a bait man stream and talk some fall fishing. So I'm uh, really excited about that. But that's where all my time is dedicated. That little 30-second clip took me two days to build. So um, I know a lot of guys um, want to... Um, I've had some people say, and it's not negative, say, man, Bateman, you're really talented on the video stuff, but your YouTube is pretty bland. And, you know, YouTube, I really don't try that hard, but TV show editing and YouTube editing is two different things. So, uh, Mark is actually still getting his back worked on. He's traveling back and forth uh, to Memphis, um, but he'll be back on the late series next year. He got a medical exemption, so... Charlie, I haven't tried the BFE, but I got some in this box. We're going to take a look at it here in just a minute. So, Oh, Toad, I need an opener. I don't know what for, but I need one. Yeah, me too. I think every time I uh, walk in the house after I get off work, it should be kind of like sting coming out from WCW. So, Thanks, Eric. Uh, and I'm going to be honest with you. I was a little rusty on the TV stuff. It's been five, six years since I've done it. Um, but I'm really excited about it and I've got something special that's going to be, hopefully, I, I'm hoping I can get a few people to come in with me on this deal. Um, but I think I got something that's going to be really special to premium subscribers on this YouTube channel and it may go even bigger than that, but that's in the works. I got to get freed up on some other stuff first. Um, you know, I'm going to be able to make videos, fishing videos for a living get tired of banging on windows but my kids gotta eat and they're eating me out of the freaking house if you get two kids a bag of potato chips don't last long so don g i do like that jamaica boa buzz bait it's a really good one so funk and ct my six-year-old and i need some cheap rods any ideas screw tag sales and or craigslist i'm gonna be honest uh if you want a good efficient cheap rod a favorite white bird is about as good as it gets for 40 bucks. I've messed with them. My dad has one. It's a seven foot medium heavy. It's a good rod. It's 40 bucks. They're, the favorite white birds are really good. Now, uh, saying that, six years old, Bateman Jr.'s age, uh, Luz has some really good combos uh, as well. And uh, uh, I believe Abby Garcia, the new Iconelli uh, series, he had an old Ike series. I think they come out with a new one. They're really good. So, I agree, J-Rod. The problem is I want fancy stuff just because I appreciate how hard people work at making good footage and B-roll and, and great editing. I think uh, Cole, uh, that works for Ben Milliken, does a really, really good job. I think his stuff is clean and tight. Uh, Tyler's Real Fishing has good video quality uh, and editing as well. Um, it just depends on what kind of video you're doing. If it's just an on-the-water GoPro thing, you can get away with just GoPro, but I like trying to tie in some kind of intro, outro. To me, you're telling a story. Anybody can take a GoPro and stack clips back and forth, back and forth, but tell a story. Whether you, If you're a good storyteller, you can take, catch, just catch one or two fish, and it makes people entertained. So. All right. Who wants to look at these new six cents colors that are on their website right now? Because I'm going to. I'm going to get right into it.
and see if it will load up here. See if it'll load up the six inch website. Well, I went blank. I'm gonna come back. Uh oh, somebody special's in here. Somebody special's in here. What's up, MX Bass? I hear Neely outside. What's the price on the white bird now? Um, they raised the price. Dobbins Colt's a great rod, at eighty bucks. Uh, you know, I wouldn't invest too much with the six-year-old just because you don't know um, if it's uh, how much they're really going to love it or whatnot. Um, let me fix this thing so I can add the Six Cents website here. Is Neely coming out here? Oh, just wait and see. All right. Oh, snap. The bait girl is here. The bait girl is here. We're, we're going to delay the Six Cents website for a little bit. The bait girl is here. Hey, you going to say hi to the people, Neely? No. Come here. Turn around. Turn, turn around. Hey, you got to turn around. Everybody wants to see you. Did you know you got a birthday present? You knew that? You want to wear your hat? You want to put that six cents hat on? No, she doesn't want it. You got some curls, girlfriend. I don't want to try to brush your hair. But... Guess what? Somebody sent you a bait. <laughs> Somebody sent you a bait. Oh, look at that face. Here, stand up so they can see you. Yeah. Woo, that hair, girl. This is for your birthday, Nils. This is from Mr. Norm Coulter. It says to Neely. Look at look. Hey, look at this tackle box. Neely, look. Look at your little tackle box. You ready to see your see your birthday gift? Oh snap! What do you think about that, Neely? That's your own bait. That's your own fishing bait. Is that your first fishing bait? What do you think about that? Huh? What color is that, Neely? Huh? What color is that, pink? It's so pretty. You want to hold it? No. No? It's pink and, then and white pink. and yellow. You like it? Can you say thank you? No, you're not going to say thank you? Okay, don't don't be very appreciative. It's a note. Do you know he... Yeah, it's a note. It says... Thank you, it says, special built for Bait Girl Jr. From your buddy Norm. You Can you give him a thumbs up? No? You want to see mine, Neil? You want to see Brooks's? Yeah. Brooks got one, too. Did you just wake up, Neely? Oh, yeah. I did not. Neely, so here's why she woke up. What? So, Did you go wake her up? No. She woke up when I was coming in, when I was going in and get a drink. She ran. Okay. And she wanted those things. Those Where are we going to put your special bait at? You want to keep it in the bait room? Okay. Those things. She, I love she, it. She, you love it so much? She wow. She saw those cakes on there and she wanted to eat one. Six cents. Um, no, that's a Coulter crank. Ooh. Look at, oh. look at Bubby's. What do you think of Bubby's? Does that look cool? You like yours better, Neely? Yeah. Neely likes hers better. Well, don't hook your sister, dude. I'm trying. No. They can't see it that far off. So, so if you're just joining, Mr. Norm Coulter sent this one to Bait <laughs> Man Jr. Check that peep out right there. I Baits Look at all those baits, she says. Check out that awesome bill, man. That is that right there. Mm-hmm. Not a catch. All right, put that up. Yeah. Big girl junior. Can I, can I, can we kiss? No. No. Okay. Am I still ugly? Still <laughs> ugly. Not true. That was awesome for uh, Norm to do. So, you want to look at some baits on the computer? Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can get this fi figured out. 
quickly and get this figured out. All right. Hey, how about we put this in my tackle box? We can just set it there for a minute because I had to modify your tackle box. Set it where we don't lose it. Oh, hold on. Just give me a second, guys. Look, those baits. Yeah, those baits. Um, I need a, a scoot so I can put that away. Put this away. Mm -hmm. Hold on, just a second. No, do it with that, you know. So putting this away. I'm trying to get the six inch side to load load up on here. Wait, you're over here. I had it while I go. Now it's not pulling up, so. We'll get it here in a second. Display capture. No. Oh, I fell. I fell. You I'm, fell? Yeah, I, I fell. Here we go. Alright, six inch website's up. You wanna look at some new baits, Neely? Uh, she woke up uh, she woke up about nine o'clock and played hard till about uh, seven so let's get this six cents website up here uh, that one. yeah th I got those worms Neely I got these are the new ridge worms uh, from six cents they're right here on the front page uh, I'll have to show Neely she likes these worms do you like to take the worms in the bathtub yeah yeah yeah, she did, but she broke one. Oh, that's okay. Uh, but what you don't see on the front page is what I'm fixing to show you. Let's go over to the. But it's like. No, I can't see you right now. We're on the Crush 50. Up there. On the Six Sense website. Check out this. Yeah, I see. Look at this new color, Neely. This is called Pumpkin Seed Sunfish. Pumpkin what do you think about that one? You think Daddy should order it? Yeah. Yeah? How many? One or two? Uh, this pumpkin. All right, I'm going to add it to cart. This is a notebook. Here's another yeah. new color. That's called Bluegill. I like that. You want Bluegill? All right. Well, I can't say no to you. Uh, 4K Gizzard is now available in the 50X. Uh, yes, please. Check out this one, Nils. Oh, Dad, look at that one, the big one. Is that pretty? Yeah. I think we need to get that one, yeah. We'll, we'll grab that one, too. We're going to come back and grab some more, because you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to grab a bunch of these, and we're going to give away some square bills. Uh, Gillology looks great. Like that one. Clown Gill. That's kind of almost like a little jaint juice gill right there. Uh, kind of, yeah. kind of feeling the clown gill. Birthday. Hmm. Yeah. My birthday. Your birthday's tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be three. Yeah. Clown Gill looks Ooh, good. That one. Oh, this one. Mud Gill. Yeah. Is that pretty? Ooh, Phantom Crawl looks amazing. I like, I'm, I'm glad they put Tiger Gill in the Crush 50. So we've got a bunch of new colors on the Six Cents website and the 50X. And uh, use my code Baitman, 10% off that. Order. Uh, we're going to go over here to the Quake 70 because there's some new colors in the Quake 70. And maybe some more new colors of a lot of things. I just haven't gone through the whole site, but... Now I have two Love this color right here. Bites? Royal Chrome, that's my jam. This. Chrome with the purple back. Oh yeah. I'm gonna load up on those. I have a feeling Mr. Justin Royal probably had something to do with that. Fire mm. Perch, man. Y'all know I love Tiger Truce. That one. Which one? This one? Oh, check this one, Neely. It's <laughs> it's orange and white. Um I That should really be called uh you know volunteer crawl right there it's got that blue henna clemson so kind of like took the jungle rose and put the white on it reminds me of the old rattle trap 460w color so got new colors in the quake 70 as well now i'm gonna read your comments um now i have two 
eight box boxes. Um, because I had to use that one as well. Yeah. All right, I got to read the comments. Yay. All right, uh, Bateman, do you have uh, a Lincati lure? I have never I seen one. Up, so. We're up to 178 viewers. Make sure, guys, thanks for joining in. Thumbs up, right, Nails? Thumbs up, subscribe. Yeah. Birthday tomorrow? Yep. Are you excited about your crankbait you got from Mr. Norm? Yeah. I would be too. Let's see. I, I hit on that ridge worm yesterday. I found it to be a good Carolina rig worm. I wasn't sure how to use it first. A lot of people have said that, old toad, and I think it will, will be a great Carolina rig worm. I really do. Um, need a flat 50X. Dude, Dustin, I'm telling you, a flat 50X would be dynamite. Why we haven't tried a single bait from this? Well, i got three kids, two kids in here. It's going to be hard. I ain't got no room. But we'll go. Hey, my show, my rules. Gotta keep Bait Jr. calm. We'll show them. We'll show them. We'll, we'll unbox it here in a minute, okay? I'm trying to answer some questions. Because I gotta find a place to put that stuff on it instead of back in the box or we'll mix it up. Uh, backwater Bluegill is a really good one, so. That's good. That's funny funk. The Home Depot uh, lure. Tony Stewart would be proud. I'll check it out. The funk, the Lancotti Psycho Gill, so. Do you want to look at some more baits? Yeah. Ow. All right, Brooks. Ow. Grab the first bait out of that giant tackle warehouse order, and let's talk about it. I'm hot. You're hot. Yes. Well, you know. Um. Oh, shout out to my man Sheldon Hodden. Hodden Shield just won a World Outlaws event like again it? tonight. That's why I was watching on my phone. So this one is awesome. Bateman Jr. said this one is awesome, and I agree. This is the start of our uh, Tackle Warehouse unboxing. Would you guys help me pick all the baits? So, uh, James Barron, I think there was uh, three seasons of Classic Patterns DVDs. I think there's 24 total. Um, I could be wrong. Believe it or not, I don't even have a full set. I would love to have it. So, this is a black label. You like that, Nils? Yeah. What, 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 what color is that? Um, orange. Orange? Yeah. I got, and, it's bad, that one. Yeah, and it's got some yellow in it too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. This color is called Spring. It has hooks yep, it. has hooks. Yeah, well, this yeah, is the too. Black Label Hickster Flat. Black Label Balsa Hickster Flat. I'll get it real close so you guys can see. Um, this is basically their version of the Zoom WEC Hickey. Love this spring car color. So one thing Black Label Balsa does, they make some really, really good uh, paint jobs on their Balsa crankbaits. Um, got that My Carter bill that a lot of these uh, Balsa flat lines, man, I'm getting my camera to focus here, are famous for. Great paint job. Love that transitioning brown to green back there. Yeah, that's going to get eaten in the spring. So... If you're a fan of any of the Zoom crank baits, the Black Label Balsa stuff is going to be really, really good. Um, Cliff Pace uh, does all the painting on this, and he's using Ed Chambers' old tooling. There's actually a video on the Major League Fishing website. <laughs> Neely, did you find another crank bait? I'm going to just kind of find a place to put this stuff while we're unboxing. This is another Black Label Balsa crank bait. Chris Jones, what's your favorite minnow profile wake bait? A minnow pro, I would have said the old Buckeye wake, uh, Buckeye lures wake up. That was a really good one. Discontinued uh, now, so I'd have to go with the greenfish tackle version. I like that real minnow profile. Or you take a long A and you bend the lip down. Yes, Neely. Bait girl Junior has abandoned me. She wants to go inside. Let me get the door for her. You want to go inside? Yeah. All right. Thank you for coming on the bait show. You did so good. Yeah. You're going to get me a Mountain Dew.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. We're up to almost 200 live viewers, guys. Well, I know what a wake bait is. Uh, oh, yeah, wake bait is basically a, uh, especially a crank bait that dives. I would say anything between zero to a foot, depending on how you fish it. Wake bait has advantages. It's a lot more. Um, stealthier than like a walking bait or a pop bar but if you ever fish really shallow water in the fall you'll notice these gizzard shad and thread fins they'll get up in real shallow water and one gets broken away from the school and when it's running up near the surface it has just a little trail wake behind it and uh, a lot of times guess what when a bass is around that's the one he grabs so i really like a wake bait for fishing that skinny water in the fall it's great uh, pre-spawn in the spring bass do not like wake baits around the bed so in boat docks so would you still throw a 15 year old bomber a yeah if there's the right color and the right time mx bass yes i had a couple relapses not gonna lie uh got a little stressed out at work but you know, I don't, I don't buy any anymore. You know, it's, uh, I don't really do it anymore. So, I'm not gonna lie. For about a month there, it was hurting. So, so the black label baits like fourteen to fifteen dollars. Um, the hickey has a pretty tight wobble to it. Uh, it's not as tight as like a eater's, but it has a very tight action to it. Uh, it deflects really good. It's got a tiny bit of hunting action it's not a giant left or right hunt but it's just got a tiny little flick in it really good one um i like the hickey and that the hickey is actually what david fritz tried to design uh, the rapala dt flat after so lots of influence in that bait i don't know who gave me this bona fide sh shirt i lost the packaging I want to say it was maybe Summerland Outdoors or something like that was his subscription name. Uh, so if you're watching this video, after the video, comment. Um, and I want to thank you a ton. It, it, it feels good. It fits good. Uh, but the next bait. Let's get on with the baits here. Because, uh, shoot, we may be streaming for like four hours now. I don't know. We, should, we need to get up to about 250, 300 viewers. My man TK Stanley's in here. Tackle Craft. If you guys need stuff painted, uh, blow him up. Make him super busy. Um, this is the WEC Wreck. So I was really excited to get this bait. Um, my buddy Clark Ream, he's an FLW fisherman. He said, dude, if you got to get one black level bait, get the Wreck. He said, I'm selling my Zoom E1s because this bait is that good. Uh, and this, love this color right here. Uh, I think this is, someone commented on my Facebook, it's a very universal color. Uh, it would be great for dirty water. You can get away with it in slightly stained water. Um, it is called River Brim. But you see that's kind of, you look at the face profile on that. It's a very wide balsa bait, wide square lip. It's going to give it a wide wobble. Um... What's cool about this bait, it has a true hunt to it. What I've seen though, when this thing crashes cover, it goes crazy. Uh, very similar to this bait. This one's old school here. This one is old school. This is the old... Check this old... This is the old Bagley Balsa B1 right here. This is the deal. This has got the brass eye ties in it. They've kind of got that similar profile. Totally different baits, but a similar profile. Um, but this bait was modeled after the WEC E1 from Ed Chambers. And that color, man. That was a great color. But, dude, this thing, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a new subscriber, Christopher Broderick. Appreciate you hitting that subscribe button, buddy. Um, glad to see uh, you like the baits, because I like the baits. Smoke them on chick with that wreck and a chartreuse black back color. Yeah, dude. It, uh, 
I'm going to get some more colors. There's a website, uh, Wood Bait Country, or eBay has a better selection of uh, these black label colors than anywhere I've seen. They've got some great looking chartreuse purples and all that. And of course, if you just want your own custom color, you just reach out to someone like TK uh, that paints for a living. What is the name of that black label crank? The one I just had is called the Wreck. Uh, W-R-E-C-K. And since i got plenty of time tonight, after the after this video, I'll link everything uh, to Tackle Warehouse. Um, I might have got a lead on that, guys. I think we're, you're going to see a TW affiliate program before it's uh, said and over. So, got some things in the works there. Yes, a lot of old bandit colors on the wreck. So, four hour Bateman stream. Let's go. We can do it, man. Uh, I'm not going to lie. If you see a stream tomorrow pop up about eight o'clock, it's probably me reacting to the Tennessee football game. Dexter Jones, welcome to the Bait Nation. That's what we're going to call the new uh, Bateman TV members. It is the Bait Nation. And I'm gonna, we will have some Bait Nation shirts made up probably this week. I've got to get all my apparel stuff lined up. We're going to do it big 2021. We're going to make baits even better. Make them great. It's going to be huge. So, um, so let's get let's keep unboxing here. Um, some I've showed you guys a few things um, but in the last stream, but we're going to go through the whole gambit here. Uh, was excited to get this one. You know, I've kind of turned into a jerkbait guy. Dude, we're dropping them subs tonight. Sweaty Gilly YouTube is hooked and subscribed. Thanks, Sweaty Gilly. Or Sweetie Gilly. Appreciate that. I don't have a screen printer, uh, TK. I, I don't want to... I liked the websites that do the print to ship stuff, but man... Um, I personally wouldn't mind shipping the, my own stuff because I want to be able to put some personalization. When somebody buys a shirt, I want to send them a card or something that says thank you. I can't do that. Well, this is a first. I've got a bait stuck in a box. So it must have some good hooks on this Yozuri bait. This is just this is a way that's going to show me I'm fixing to hurt my hand is what's going to happen. Got it. So this is the new Yozuri. You can read it on the back here. The Yozuri 3DB Jerkbait 110 SP. So you know what color I had to grab. Come on camera, do your thing. Focus, focus, focus. You almost gotta black out that light. Very similar to a Vision 110 or a Provoke. Love that color. Looks good. It's got some good sharp hooks on. Uh, I'm a fan of Yozuri bait. Got a lot of, if you can hear that, it's got a lot of small BBs in it. A lot of small BBs in it. Um, but really like that. That's the Table Rock Show. They got some great colors, and these are only like, uh, Ten bucks or something like that. I can check my check this TW receipt in here somewhere. Hope I haven't lost it. Uh, let's see how much this thing was on the Labor Day sale. Uh, it was eight dollars and seven cents. So good deal. Um, I would say it's it's kind of a cross between a Vision 110 and a Provoke. It's really, um, it's got a triangular style nose, a different lip. I like this. I might pick a couple more up in this. You're right, Chris Jones. Uh, I could maybe point the camera down or something like that. Um, that's why I kind of wanted to start doing my unboxings off live where I can get nice B-roll and stuff like that. But I really don't have time right now, so I'm just doing it this way. This is my way. This is the Bateman way. And I don't I love Debo's fishing and his unboxing, so I don't really want to, you know, 
people think I'm trying to do his stuff because he does a great job. But dude, it is hard to beat the OG Edo 110, man. Um, a mega bass truly makes one of the most amazing jerk baits ever made. And it says someone everybody's trying to design something similar. Um, but I like how you know Six Sense and now Yozuri, they like that 110 size, but they're trying to do their own thing instead of exactly copy. You know whether it's make the body wider, uh, put different rattles on it, different. Uh, Randy Brittenham, what is a good jerk bait rod? I use a seven foot um, cranking stick that I throw my flat sides on, and I need another one. Uh, because I need one for jerkbait. Uh, the Daiwa Tatula Elite uh, jerkbait rod is really good. The fighter rod, I think it's like 6'3". Uh, it's awesome. Uh, I think there's a 6 foot 8 uh, Shimano X Pride that's like a medium. That's a really, really good one too. So, uh, And the new Shimano Intenza, the 129, they make a really good jerkbait rod as well. So... The cool thing about a jerkbait rod, you don't have to have high dollar, expensive. I know there's a Mega Bass, there's a 110 Special rod. Dude, you can get away with a $99 rod. A Dobbins Fury 703 um, is a really good rod for a jerkbait. So, I like a jerkbait pretty rod pretty soft. Very parabolic, super soft tip. Um, basically my top water rod, but one power down less. So that's cool bait uh, put all this stuff back together you know why because i think we're gonna give it away i think we're gonna give away this tackle warehouse order details will be coming details will be coming this is going to be a good month to be a subscriber uh to the challenge or to the channel i can tell you guys that so Great gamer, is there any advice on bass fishing? I'm very new. Ask a question. Lots I can answer. I'm not the best fisherman, but we got a lot of great people in the chat that can offer advice as well. That's one of the reasons I like to do these because we all throw ideas off each other. Have I ever used the duo Rios jerk baits? Yes, Clayton, I, I do. I like the duo jerk baits, especially the deeper diver. It's really good. Okay, what do I think about the uh, 100 Max LBO? So, the LBO system is amazing. You can launch a jerk bait a freaking mile uh, with LBO. Um, it's a, it's a really good um, something that Mega Bass is engineered. Um, it's kind of like a weight transfer system on steroids, so it makes it easier to cast. Uh, jerk baits and stuff, especially in the wind. Big man, have you ever removed the skirt off a spinner bait and put a fluke on it? If so, what was your results? Well, yeah, actually, I removed the skirt and uh, put a Kitek swim bait on the back and caught several fish. Um, one thing I did up shallow is I used to put take a swimming super fluke uh, and cut it in half and put it on the back as a trailer on like the War Eagle finesse spinner baits. Um, works really, really good. Yeah, Dual Reals makes awesome stuff, Black Dog Baits. Um, they got, they're kind of a company that I didn't really know much about in the last year or two. I've really got excited about their stuff, so. Still dreaming on winning that $3,000 Kistler Rods giveaway. Kistler makes great rods. All right, let's see what else we got in here. I got, y'all would make fun of me if you saw my bait room right now. It is just, just trashed. I've got to get it organized in here. Dude, the OG Rattling Rogue, we might got one in here. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, y'all might remember this from the last time I streamed. This is the Gee Crack Bellows Gill. So one thing I like about this company is they make some stuff that's just totally different than anybody else. Now this is kind of similar to uh, the Hogs Tornado and, and uh, what's the other company, Grande Bass, but it's different. Similar but different. And these things, uh, these are ratchet, man. They stink. 
they're they're nasty but um the problem is i can't tell you the colors because i can't read it's this is all jdm uh that tackle warehouse order sheet will be able to tell you that this color is nasty i like it uh this color is called muddy gill so you kind of got a little black and blue deal and then you kind of got that muddy brown goose poop green dude this thing on a nico rig nasty shaky head would be really nasty but dude wacky rig oh man but got all those little ribs man i think the rib appendage deal is coming back but that's uh that's the bellow stick that's the five eight uh, they make them down to a three eight as well you could even drop shot this thing very cool looking bait from gee crack um, that's the bellow stick bellow stank more like it oh Yeah, five. Yeah, if it was the big time, uh, what's the the Z bones? It would be four rods for three grand. So, dude, the old school Robo Zipper Worm, man. I remember when that came out. Everybody had them. Kind of forgotten about bait. Sweaty Gill YouTube. How do I send you baits? Uh, I'm gonna put. I'll put my email address. Uh, DM me on Instagram, uh, on Facebook, or um i'll give you all my email address i'll leave it in the video but uh just contact me i'll send you my home address uh you can send it to i i will get a p.o box but they want 46 dollars for a box that's like a three by three that's crazy shout out to robert lee for sucker meeting by dude robert lee was a hammer man uh i haven't heard much about him in a while but he was the dude out there in the delta i believe Ring or bait. Shake the water off the bait before you make another cast and it will last longer. Huh. But uh, five inch hags, tornado, great Carolina. Yeah, I think that bell is going to be awesome on a Carolina rig as well. So, um, somebody made a comment. Um, when are you going to shave your head again? I don't know. I haven't cut my hair since I uh, shaved it. I'm getting bald as hell back here. I'll be bald tomorrow night, probably. So here's the second thing from um, Gee Crack. This is the Bellows Gill. This is a very, very unique bait. Um, I'm not sure I know how to describe it. Well, I should describe it, but I'm not sure what category we put this in. Do we put this in... The creature bait, the swim bait, uh, or the alternative. The wife does like fishing. Um, like our third date, she caught a five pounder on a War Eagle buzz bait, and right then I was in instant love, just to be honest. I'll tell you who else was a, a good hammer. Uh, Mark Tyler. Uh, if anyone remembers Mark Tyler, him and Robert Lee, man. There's some old school flipping, punching, frogging guys that a lot of people forget get about. So I guess we're gonna put this is the Bellows Gill. Uh, this color is Bug Bomb. You know I had to get me a little bit of purple up in there, dude. I love how s these ribs make these baits super soft, so you're gonna get easy penetration. Uh, your hook's not gonna um get buried up in the plastic too much really like this so i've seen some people rigging these on the uh, owner beast hooks with the spinner on them and letting them glide down it's got a crazy action so you can punch this you can flip this dude you could slice this thing down the middle and you could have a crazy looking drop shot bait i think you could put it on the uh, back of a bladed jig scrounger and it'd be awesome as well Love this Bellows uh, Gill. I'm going to grab me a few more colors on the next TW7. The only downside of the Geek Crack stuff 
is there's five baits in here and this costs you like nine dollars hey dude you're a good youtuber and what would i use for weeded areas well first off thank you for calling me a good youtuber i appreciate it i'm just the average joe anything weedless i like a weedless texas rig um a zoom super fluke if it's in the fall you want to fish weedless baits you could fish something like this right here you just gotta rig it weedless on a texas rig um a super fluke soft jerk bait frog gonna be weedless um and i'll be honest man if it's not super thick there bud uh i like a, ch a bladed jig and you actually want that bladed jig to tick the grass and then rip it out and man you'll get a lot of bites so but if you're worried about getting hung up a lot i would stick to my soft plastics and have them rigged weedless so 205 people up on the show tonight that means 205 people are not watching guggen videos so i appreciate that uh make sure you smash the like button for me if you're new hit that subscribe button so mr tommy hagler hags tornado worm designer passed away recently wow hate to hear that hag stuff was great man um yeah i think mark tyler moved to oklahoma uh and he's like ranching cattle or something like that i i believe he's actually fishing now i think someone said or maybe he fished a bass champs or an event down there did really really good so Chris Jones says, I saw an interesting rigging on the Bell's Gill where you put a CPS spring in the nose and run a weighted wacky jig through it. That's cool. Whoa. Shout out to One Rod, One Lure Fishing. I like that name. One Rod, One Lure Fishing is hooked and subscribed. Hey, thanks for subscribing. That's a great idea. One Rod, One Lure could do immense amount of fishing challenges with that name. If that's your thing. Hey, no problem, uh, Sweetie Gill. We're just here to help. And I'm going to show you baits and whatever else on this channel. So, Yeah, Mark Tyler, 14-pound bass. At the time, before he broke it, Mark Menendez had uh, the biggest bass. And then Mark Tyler uh, surpassed him. you just now hearing about the Black Panther actor. That's crazy. Yeah, man, he uh, loved those movies. Uh, that guy's a great actor, too. I uh, can't say that I followed him like a lot of people, but I respect his work. And, uh, yeah, man, 2020 is crazy, man. 2021's got to be better, so. Yeah, buzz bug for weeded areas. That would work great. Buzz baits over the tops of grass, around weeds are amazing as well. Let's keep getting in this. All right. Let's go old school for a second. Lucky Craft Sammy 105. Um, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to try not to ruin the box in case I do this unboxing giveaway here. I will tape it back up. I'm a pro at getting baits out of boxes and sticking them back. I used to have to do this when I was running online. Stuff. So this is the Sammy... 105 from Lucky Craft. This is a unique color um, called Bone Shad. And uh, I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys right now. This is not the same plastic the old Lucky Crafts are made out of. This is my top water box. If I don't have to reach 500 feet to get it, uh, it's stuck. So the 105 they advertised it with a knock and rattle on it but it's not too much louder than the normal sammy love the color but i'm just going to be honest i'm a little disappointed in this bait um the plastic is not the same as the old sammy's it's uh I don't know if that's good or bad, but the back is, it's a seam mold, I can tell, it's a, you know, you can see a seam across the back, but 
The one reason I bought this bait is because I like the three hooks on this bait. Sammy is one of the best walking baits uh, ever. Uh, but at least this is a lot cheaper. And the old Sammy's were 15, 16 bucks. This is like eight bucks. But I can tell you the plastic's different on this thing. It's different. Uh, but this is the knock version, Sammy 105. Definitely a little bit louder. Um, probably going to be a good bait. I need to throw it. I like to compare this to some Sammy 100s. Uh, the original uh, Sammy 105 with Kelly Jordan on the pack. I think it was a 105 or a 115. Those were nasty. Uh, the bigger the Sammy's got, I think the 115, 128 had three hooks on it. Um, the 100 so small, they still got it with two hooks, but I like the third hook just for a little bit uh, better. So Very subdued. It's not like a the Kick Knocker or the Repo Man or any of that stuff. The River to Sea is uh, a whole lot louder than that. I do love a Sammy. Uh, I think in slick water, uh, very calm water, a Sammy is one of the best baits out there it walks so easy now when you get a lot of wake and ripple on the water things like a shower blow an original spook are a little bit better yeah the usa series lucky craft i you know i'm not sure if i'm a big fan of that no i don't think it's a polycarbonate um i know the old sammies are different I can just tell how this felt in my hand. It's hard to explain. What bait have what bait have you had the longest in the bait cave? Uh, probably uh, was the Lucky Strike uh, original ringers because I had a shed out back and I had some stuff on the pegboard, but I always took those worms with me fishing, and so I started hanging those in here, TK. And then I would hang a little bit of stuff, and then I finally just told myself, why the hell I have all this tackle in a shed when I can just put it right here in this closet? Uh, it's actually a water heater in front of me area. And, uh, yeah, so I started there. I started actually just putting a few boxes here and lining up a few pegs. And uh, my wife didn't like me streaming in the kitchen, so that's uh, where we went from there, but... Pretty much started with a pack of worms, man. So. Asian Skitty, yes, I see you. Shout out. All right, I'm going to go back here and answer a few questions as we continue this unboxing. Boss Hawk, thoughts on the Bill Lewis MR6? Uh, I think it's a good crankbait. Is it a replacement for a DT6? No. Um, but I like the action to it. It casts really, really well. And I know it catches fish. So... Uh, yes, if you're worried about buying one, I suggest buy an MR6. Good bait. Uh, Yak and Bass SoCal went to Walmart last night and found Jean LaRue Salt Cross packaged up in a sealed yum bag. That has happened. So the same company that pours yum pours Jean LaRue. And I've seen multiple, multiple Facebook posts of yum baits and Jean LaRue packaging and vice versa. Uh, obviously the quality QC uh, people are just pushing buttons on machines, man. Things are going to happen. Buster K is an amazing frog. So is the Jackal Carrot. Great, great suggestions. Uh, looking for a HPH gliding gizzard. Dude, if anybody's got a HPH, I am in the market for a 6-inch uh, HPH herring or a gliding gizzard. Um... I love the bull shad and all that. I just want to get a, I want a few more glides that can fish really, really fast. If my, I wouldn't mind the fish everything paperweight, but I'm afraid if I ordered it, it'd be next year before I got it. Um, you know, Victor Deep still hasn't learned how to use a shipping program, I don't think. Uh, fish everything makes good stuff, but. Um, they're stuck in 1974 on the shipping, so. I don't know if Bonafide's making a new style kayak. I'm, I'm kind of out of the kayak loop. Um, I like, somebody sent me this shirt and I like it. I like, 
I like the bona fide stuff. So, uh, Black Dog Bates is just dropping that knowledge in here, talking about the type of plastic these guys are using. So, Bateman, are you doing this cross country lure challenge? Catch a fish on a crazy lure, then challenge the next guy to catch one on the very same lure. No, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I would definitely do it if somebody sent me one. So, got a few lately on the new Strike King 2.5 weight. That's a great bait. All right, Eric Williams wants to know what's everyone's favorite jig rod around a hundred dollars. Oh man, for a hundred bucks, I would probably go with a few. Well, a hundred nineteen dollars is Dobbins Fury. Um, Dude, St. Croix Mojo's are really good. Um, Shimano Intenza, no, that's about 129 I like my Sticks Power Sticks. That's a pretty good rod for $99. Pretty sensitive. I'd have to think on that. I'll be honest, I've heard the new Veritas is awesome. I, uh, it's a rod a lot of guys don't talk about, but that Abu Veritas is really good. Um, and then the Jason Christie um, Sears Falcon rods used to be really good for the money. So, a lot of good options there in 79 to 100 bucks. I have tried the kick knocker. Um, mine, mine doesn't leak. Um, but I could see where any of these baits are, that are molded, that a lot of people don't understand, they're, some of them are pressed together. And anytime you got a seam, just like seam in my jeans, uh, if I shart, sometimes it's going to leak through. Uh, but, you know, I'm not saying I'm sharting my jeans, but my, I may have once before, but um, not on the stream. But a lot of these baits are actually pressed together is how they're made. And when it gets real hot and real cold and stuff like that, uh, it leak. they'll leak. Uh, but also... They can come out of the mold to the factory and be shipped to you where it's not pressed together uh, at the right temperature and the right amount of poundage, and you'll have stuff that has a leak. So, if it's one out of 10,000, not a big issue, but if it's 500 out of you know 5,000 baits, that's an issue. So, I've heard the Ducket new hundred dollar rod is not a good one. I'm not a huge. Here's how I feel about Duck. I don't like their cheap rods. I kind of like the Silverado though. But I always want to say Silverado. Or the Duck at Silverado. Like a Mary King. But I like the higher end Duckets. I mean, as far as feel and, and looks. If I'm missing anybody's question, I'm sorry. Uh, Caleb Keller, Mega Bass, Mega Dog opinion. I've not thrown it. I like some big, big top waters. And my boy Black Dog Baits, kind of the OG of the big mega walking baits, the Lunker Punker. That's the one I like to pick up. Um, and then you got the Six Cents Mag Dog and the Strike King Mega Dog. They're up here behind me. Evergreen Amazon is a really, really good one. They are hard to find, though. Kevin B's there. Are they pouring any more babes this year? I don't know. Um, Possibly. I'm not sure. I haven't talked to Kyle in a little bit. I do know he's playing on a late fall batch right around Thanksgiving, Christmas, something like that. Uh, let's see. Dude, I used to like the Veritas cranking rods. I thought they were nice. Arc rod. So I've heard a lot of good things about arc rods. May have to try one out. I want to try the, I want to try that new cashing rod. Is it the weight or something like that? So, ooh, I have some KJ Flat 1.0s. Slide into my Facebook messages, buddy. I would like to grab a few. I don't know why they were discontinued, but Kelly told me they're coming back. So, I think KJ is kind of in the loop. He told me about the BDS two and three coming back and stuff like that. So. I'd like to play with the new BDS to see if they're the same plastic material because if they're the same material as this Sammy, uh, I'd be disappointed. Believe it or not, this bait's it's kind of growing on me uh, with the rattle. So, 
Body burner, any hard plastic crank similar to a Bling 55 or Little John? Well, the Six Sense uh, Flat 75 is similar to a Bling, but it's a lot bigger. Um, that's a good question. Um, I know there's a guy um, on Facebook, his name's Nick Fox. He's actually colorblind, and he's a custom painter, which is crazy. But he's doing a Bling 55 KO bait. Um, Hey, bait man. Happy Friday, bud. What's up, Carl Acorn? Happy birthday, or happy Friday to you. Question. I'm looking for the best rainbow trout swim bait. What should I buy? Soft bait? I think you gotta go Huddleston. Uh, Huddleston Deluxe 8-inch, without a doubt. Um, if I, Number two on a soft bait, I would probably go to the Defiant. Um, but HUD, HUD number one on that rainbow trout deal. You want to go hard bait? Uh, you got a Hinkle Trout, which is really, really good, really popular. Um, but man, I think for the money, and it's caught a ton of fish, a Depths 250 is the deal. So many giant fish have been caught on a trout pattern, Depths 250. Let's see. How many lures would you say I had? I don't know. I don't want to count it either, but um, I think you'd be surprised how much I really don't have. Uh, it's just the way, you know, the, the lens and everything. You think, man, this guy's got a ton of stuff. And I do got a lot of stuff, but uh, I don't think I have more than tackle junkie because I try not to hoard too much stuff. Like, I'm not going to get on Tackle Warehouse and buy 20 packs of one color Rage Crawl. I don't do that. And I'll buy like one or two things. I, I'll hoard crankbaits and hard to get stuff, but you know, just common stuff like, you know, green pumpkin rage crawls or, or pack of crawls. I just keep enough to where I need. I'm not, no need to have giant plastic totes full of common stuff. Now, if I found a bunch of jack of blings for $10, 200 of them, yeah, I'd buy them and hoard them. Uh, that's my deal. So, no offense to uh, uh, Tackle Junkie, TJ81, whatever, a great guy. Uh, I've never met him, talked to him in some Instagram messages. That's his deal. He really hoards it up, and that's okay. Different strokes, different folks. So, um, Yes, S Waver Light Trout. That is a badass um, bait. My boy, Matt Robertson, on him. Had a little boat trouble in the opens. He, he showed me the power of that Light Trout, so. I don't have 5,000 hard bait lures. I can tell you that. It, I would say less than 1,000 on the hard baits. You gotta understand, 1,000 lures is a lot of freaking lures. Alright, Spartan Craig. Square bill or lipless for fishing six foot deep docks for fall bass? I'm not a big fan of lipless around docks. Uh, I've hung a lot of poles. I would go with a square bill or something that goes in that four to six foot range like a DT6. Uh, that's really good. A DT6, a curve 55 from six cents, something that gets that four to six foot range. That's what I would really want. I want something that's got some movement to it. Opinion on the G-Splash, that is my favorite mass produced top order uh, popper. Uh, I love the G-Splash. I've caught a lot of big fish on it. Caught a lot of fish, period. Uh, I can't believe they discontinued it, but I, if anyone runs across a Lucky Craft G-Splash and laser rainbow trout, you let your boy know. I've got some PayPal money I will send you, because I really like that. Yeah, James Barron, you scored huge on that uh, crankbait lot. Yeah, if Black Dog Bates is telling you to get a Huddleston hands down, because he lives out there in Rainbow Trout Country, that's where you go. Yeah, Nick Fulks, that's the Blink 55 KO guy. Fulks Custom Cranks, look him up on Facebook. So, Hunter Nixon, what's your favorite six cents hard bait and soft plastic? Right now, soft plastic, it's got to be uh, the Stroker Crawl. I love the Stroker Crawl. Uh, it's so versatile, you can do so many things. Uh, hard bait, I really like the Provoke. 
Um, but I'm going to go with the Quake 70. I've, that was that's the bait that started it for me that I really really like from them. And I throw in the I throw the 50x and the 100x. They're great baits, but Quake 70 I just always have. If it's time to fish a lipless, I got them in the boat. That's the first time I threw it, I caught like a five pound or second cast. I thought, oh, okay, you know, big deal. Went two days later, took a high school kid fishing. He'd really want to go fishing with me. And dude, caught him really good. And he was throwing a red eye shad. And he was catching fish. But when he turned to me, he said, dude, all your fish are so much bigger. It's got to be uh, the way that bait sounds or something. I knew that bait was special when you can go behind a guy with a red eye shad and crush him. So love the Quake 70s. Chris Norris, do you have near the baits that Epic Eric has? Uh, no. Epic Eric also has high value stuff. Uh, he's probably got more of that OG stuff that I want. Um, and he's got more of the Balsa, Handmaker stuff. I might have more in the ledge fishing department. I definitely know I got a lot of giant deep divers and stuff like that. But Eric's very fine-tuned got a lot of good stuff hard to get stuff i would love to go to eric's house we're gonna make it happen because i don't talk to, talk to him so man i don't know what the deal is with the magic swimmer i think it's a blueback herring thing all those blueback herring lakes the guys really like that magic swimmer i think you can burn it it's got great action uh it just gets bit on those clear water herring lakes so I want some nice six cents baits, just expensive. Man, I, I'll be honest, I don't think six cents is really that expensive. Uh, you look at 13 fishing and Rapala and stuff, for the most part, that seven to eight dollar range for hard baits not too far out there, but you can use my code Baitman and get you 10% off. Um, or you go this six cents super sack or six cents super six sack route. Get the premium sack. Use my code, Baitman Super Six, ten bucks. You get fifty dollars of baits for thirty dollars. That's not a bad deal. So, dude, that's right, Black Dove. That's why it is epic, Eric, because his tackle is epic. I used to go deer hunting, sweaty gilly, and I used to film it for a living. I'm just, I'd like to do it, but I'm only a bow hunter, and I got so much going on. Uh, I got, uh, I got really burned out on deer hunting. And to be honest, what burned me out is guys that would refuse to shoot a deer because they wanted, you know, I get it. We want to kill big deer. Uh, you don't want to, you can't shoot big deer if you let the little, don't let the little ones grow. I totally get it. But man, there comes a time when, when do we say enough is enough? And I was tired of filming guys that were passing up 135 to 150 inch deer that are mature four and a half to six year old deer said no nah, he's just his rack's not big enough i'm like dude i'm on a freaking video camera and it looks great people are gonna think it's a giant deer i got really burned out on that and uh i just i just couldn't do it anymore and uh i just didn't want to deer hunt because of that thanks a lot nathan no problem but i love bow hunting man i love archery i think it's very relaxing i think uh as far as going out in the woods, it's more spiritual. Uh, the bow hunting, I know I sound Rick Clondish, but it's more of you and the deer when you got a rifle sitting there. There's not a challenge to when you're to kill an animal. If you're a good shot, let's say if you're a great shot, it's deer hunting is not a challenge. Now I know some guys love shooting long range. That's totally different, but 50 to 200 yards with a 30 out six is there's, there's not a whole lot of hunting, especially when you're sitting in a uh, insulated hut house, uh, your redneck hunting blind, with Wi-Fi connection, and you're watching YouTube, and oh yeah, there's deer. That, but that ain't hunting. Hunting's getting up at three o'clock in the morning, walking a uh, quarter a mile in your stand with the climb uh, with your summit climbing sticks, and, and you have to climb up in your climber. And find a tree yeah that's hunting war pick is a great lipless big red bass what's your favorite firearm you own you know what believe it or not i don't own a gun right now uh, i got a i uh 
Once I had kids, I don't have a gun safe, so I got I just give all my stuff to my dad and keep it at his house. I'm just not big on. I'm I'm pro uh, pro Second Amendment, so don't get me wrong there. I just don't have anything at my house. Um, don't want my kids around it. Yeah, that's right. It's more intimate and personal with the bow, and uh, I, I'm more of a. I tell you, my deal is I want to get a turkey with a bow eventually one of these days. So, and uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't catch them on a magic swimmer on Kentucky Lake, but man, you you go to Lanier and those uh, Lanier and Hartwell and Murray, they love that magic swimmer. Chris, I have used the war pig. Very underrated bait. Very underrated bait. Yeah, John D. Uh, deer hunting here turned into who can buy a lease and put the most corn on it. And it's a sad deal, man. There's some guys that do the research and hunt public land that kill some really, really big deer. And that's that's really for a, another stream. Because uh, guys, I can, I can do a deer hunt rant. Trust me on that. I can tell you there's a lot of pro fishermen out there that think they're pro deer hunters. And all they do is buy go hunt the most expensive lease they can and uh yeah now i think andy morgan's a hell of a deer hunter though i'll, I'll say that i think andy is a legit great outdoorsman all right did you get that tw box he spent over 300 bucks yeah man my top spinner we're unboxing it right now uh we got on a hunting rant somehow you know me i can't ever stay on subject we've been streaming for an hour and a half right now. Um, let's get it. All right. Here's a spinner bait I did not own until now. This is part of the TW box. This is the Bling 55 abalone shad. I know Matt Allen loves that abalone shad. Um, Fat Papa Crankbait, or no, what's it called? The Biggie Square Bill. It says you can catch a fish on it anywhere in the country. Is, is it? No, I won't disagree with him. It's a good looking shad pattern, but I've never. Uh, I've never owned one. Price on this is why I never bought one, but uh, let's see here. 722 on the discount. 722 on the discount. So let's check this thing out here. Let's check out the bling. So very good, natural looking, great shad pattern. Um Good looking spinnerbait. It's, it's an awful different style willow blade. Whoa, a lot of flash on there. About to seizure out. It's got a lot of, if y'all notice this blade, it's got a lot of cup to it right here. So I imagine that's going to give it just a tad more vibration, possibly give it some extra lift. It's got a big hook in it. Um, for me, that's a pretty meaty hook for spinnerbait. But I guess if you're Matt Allen and fishing in Clear Lake all the time, that would be be different. But I do like the profile of this. It reminds me of a Revenge spinnerbait, just the head-wise. Definitely would like to throw that. So. so yeah, Canine Braid is really good. It does have a little... Uh, a little bit of a keeper up on the trailer, if y'all see that. Man, I love them when my webcam works like that. That's so much better. That's a great, great looking. I like the bling. Definitely can see myself fishing that quite a bit, especially during the fall. And the one I got was half an ounce. If I had one size spinnerbait to throw, I'm probably going to choose half ounce. I feel I can fish that in four to six foot of water and I can fish that in 10 to 12 foot of water just by changing my retrieve speed. 
Uh, I throw a lot of three eights too, but I, I tend to throw three eights in less than four uh, six foot of water. Like if I'm fishing flooded bushes and stuff, I'm going to throw a three eights quite a bit. We'll get there. At my top spinner. I'm just going from the top to the to the back. So if this bait has some lift, it would be a great bigger profile spinner bait for stuff I do here on Kentucky Lake and Barkley. Uh, slow rolling over shallow stumps in the fall and stuff like that. Um, I could see that working out, especially if it comes up. Because if you if if spinner bait's got a lot of lift and you're reeling it too fast, you're not going to be able to fish in that bottom part of the strike zone very often. It's not going to be a great slow roller. It could be a good burning bait, but if they lift too hard, you can't really burn it because it's got to be weighted down. It don't want to pop out of the water. But don't own one. Do now. Definitely want to try it out. So, big red bass. Do you throw trailer hooks on your spinner baits? Uh, yes and no. Uh, if I don't have a trailer on there, like. I've gotten to where I like a little Kytec and stuff like that. I don't really put a trailer hook on. Because um, when you put a trailer hook on and you've got a swim bait or whatever back there, a big grub or something like that, that trailer hook sometimes gets in the way and your, your trailer will fold over your trailer hook and render it useless and you'll miss fish. So uh, like a war eagle and stuff, I don't really throw a trailer on there, um, trailer hook. Uh, like a war eagle because it's just a long skirt yeah I will is this the never-ending box uh, it may be my top spinner yes that is the Ish Monroe spinner all right what else we got I think I showed this off last time this is the longest baits Enix tail soft jerk bait so this is actually a very unique bait that somebody suggested to grab let's get one here these are expensive these are like eight bucks for a pack of four but what's cool about this this soft jerk bait has got a metal bladed tail uh, and if you can see here come on camera come on camera it's got a little screw lock inside the tail there. There we go. And it's got this bladed tail. This thing is really cool. And uh, it's got, got a place uh, to put the hook right there. That bait. That looks pretty nasty right there. I'm not going to lie. This color is called Alberno Cumin. These are actually made in Europe. So you get two baits with the complete tails in here, and then you get two spare baits. So I like this. This is different. Roy Mullins, go balls. Cast those baits. Love the balls and love the bait, man. I love you, Roy. You're an amazing dude. One of my favorite people on the internet of all time. And you also had the same last name as David by God, Mullins from East Tennessee. It's an amazing bass fisherman. So, thank you, Roy. Go balls! Can't wait to beat some cock tomorrow. Cocks tomorrow night. So, Ballin Twenty One. Do you like the live coverage that bass is doing for the opens? Yeah, absolutely. More live coverage for bass fishing. I'm all about it. Michael Emboss says, "Cut the tail off a fluke, screw in a willow leaf." Yeah. You could definitely make a budget bait just like that by using like the, uh, you can buy the owner flashy blade systems. You can, they had them on sale at Academy. I ought to go up and get a bunch of them where you can just screw the blade into your soft plastic, kind of like a humdinger. It's a great idea. So. Who's the fisherman you have talked about that does duck hunting trips? Uh, I want to say it's called Mallard Estates. So Mallard Estates Outfitters, that's Monty Mac, uh, Monty McWilliams, he's a subscriber here. A great place there in West Tennessee. And then Ben Parker, uh, he has a huge duck hunting estate as well. So those, both those guys, great human beings. Uh, Monty's a ball for life, too. He's a great dude. I don't think Ben remember. He, he's duck hunted so much. He's, I don't think he's seen a football game forever. Sean Law, that's called the longest baits. 
long ass or longest i don't know here's what it is again the nx tail but this i'm not sure this spins it's just flashy that, uh, that so i want to make sure you guys know that this isn't uh there's no swivel back here on this tail, so this isn't really going to spin. It's just going to flash. Whereas if you took like a flashy willow from owner or something and screwed it in, you would get the spinning action. But uh, definitely, this is a hand port. I, I like the concept, like the idea, like where they're going with with this right here. You know what you could do is you could put a, this on a donkey rig, and you can put this one as the trailer or the above one and try to get a little flash on that. So. There you go. Good idea, buddy. Put that on a chatterbait. If you had a little smaller version of that, that would be a cool idea. So Let's keep going here. Brand new bait right here. Uh, totally different style. We're going Ned Rig. This is the Baby Goat uh, from Z-Man. Baby Goat. Check this guy out. This is basically kind of like a uh, that last take. You can pull those little legs apart. You've kind of got you a little menace grub, maybe almost like a rage menace grub. Is the baby goat slash zoom z crawl? It's got these little flanges on the bottom. Is the baby goat? You could Ned rig it by itself. Obviously, that would be cool. Ned rig it by itself, maybe on the back of like a missile micro finesse jig or something like that. Back of one of the Kitech jigs, man, this would probably be a good little uh, trailer. But you can stretch the hell out of it. That's the beauty of Z Man. So I love the baby goat. That color's the deal. I like the deal. It's very versatile. You can use it with green pumpkin, you can use it with green pumpkin blue, anything. Really like the baby goat goat stuff and I'll be honest when it comes to Ned baits I think it begins with Z-Man if you're new into Ned fishing you've got to use the Z-Man stuff they got so much great options and this is really I mean for a Ned bait it's actually a pretty decent size but kind of that concept of a menace grub slash um, what else is like this the kinky beaver or spicy beaver, I'm sorry. Random question. Do Tennessee fans really hate Jeremy Pruitt more than Butch Jones? I actually love Jeremy Pruitt. I think he's a great coach. Um, I'm rooting for him. I, w I get very sarcastic on Facebook sometimes. I get tired of seeing all the stupid-ass political posts. Uh, there's a lot of people I basically make fun of because all they do is post political stuff. It's freaking awful. I don't care if you're on the left or the right. If all you can do is post political stuff, I know some fishermen that are great fishermen that have just basically quit talking about fishing or anything so they can either dog the president or dog Joe Biden. Don't really care. I joke at both of them, but dude, my life goes on. I don't really give a damn who's in the White House. I gotta do my thing. I'm gonna talk about baits, no matter who's up in there. So, you want to get unfollowed by me real quick? You start posting a bunch of political stuff. I don't mind once every now and then, but it's become Facebook is just awful. Uh, I've kind of got more into Twitter. So, if my life depended on ringing a last take on an edge straight, I just shotgun a jug of bleach. And Dude, I, I agree with you. It's really hard to do that. <clears throat> One time I was going to do a Ned video, and I'm showing, and I could, I was like, dude, screw this. I can't, I can't, I'm not going to do a Ned video. I can't rig it perfectly straight because, uh, you know, someone's going to call you out, dude, you couldn't rig that song and get a bit straight. So, Bateman for Prez. Yeah, 20, uh, 2028 Bateman for Prez. Let me, uh, I gotta go use the bathroom real quick. I'm gonna be right back because I'm just gonna pee off my porch out here.
Woo. My bladder is about to blow up, guys. Unsubscribe to Guggen watching you now. See you later. I had to go bed. Sweaty Gill, thank you for joining. No shart in here. Bladder was full. So anyway, let's keep going, man. We got a lot of stuff. Speaking of Zoom, a lot of guys have been asking about this right here. This is the Zoom Mag UV crawl. The Ultra Vibe Speed Crawl. Uh, let's see if I got any close to me I can grab. Zoom. Yeah. There's the Mag UV Speed Crawl. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab uh, one off my shelf here for comparison. We'll do a little comparison. This is the new Magnum one right here, my left hand. Check that guy. This, when in doubt on Zoom, I always buy watermelon candy. Such a versatile color. You get the purple, you got the green. This is a color I throw a lot right here. So, all I'm saying, Dustin, is I had a big piece of plastic I had to take care of. Yeah, that noise that's knocking, that's the washing machine. So my laundry room is basically a wall over from the bedroom. So here's the regular sized uh, speed crawl from Zoom. I love this color, I throw it quite a lot. Uh, that's a green pumpkin blue flash. Really would like it in the Magnum one, so. But you can tell how much bigger the Magnum speed crawl is compared uh, to the regular speed crawl, so. Normal size, my right hand, new one in my left. Come on camera, keep doing your good looking thing. Right there. So, if you want a little bit bigger, bulkier bait, it's slender enough, you can punch this bait. You can put this, beef up your football jig. Even better for a Carolina rig, man. That would be a really good Carolina rig bait right there. Wobble head, really good for that wobble head, bigger style. Um, but yeah, a lot of guys been asking about, man, to get you some, there's 10 in a pack too. So the price on them, uh, pre-sale, uh, Zoom Max Speed Crawl, on sale it was 373. So that's a pretty good price on a 10 pack of plastic. So. Dude, my wife is always washing clothes. Sorry about that, we're just gonna have to deal with it until I make that stupid YouTube money where I can have my own bait studio. That's kind of, that's my end goal is next year to move out of the bait room and have my own Joe Rogan-esque studio uh, somewhere here locally, basically my own office and I can have a little studio in there. So The reason it's knocking is because somebody's loaded too much stuff in the washer. Uh, on a, what application would you use the Magnum? Uh, Carolina rig, uh, I would use it on about any type of jig because I like a little bit bulkier profile, especially on a football jig. Uh, if you want to throw it on a big California style swim jig, it would work really well. Uh, and a wobble head, it'd be an amazing wobble head bait. So. In order to get rid of the sound, we have to donate. Actually, I'm fixing to go in there uh, I know what my wife's doing. She's trying to get, she's probably washing something for work tomorrow. So if I walked in there and turned it off, I'd be in trouble. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. It's just going to have to be there. So let's keep going. Uh, here's one a lot of people ask a whole lot about. This is the River to Sea uh, Tactical DD Crank. And it's kind of the time of year where it's going to get ready to use this, according to Matt and Tim. Uh, weighs three quarters of an ounce, 75 millimeters. Dude, check it out. Even got the tactical bass and logo on there. At least I got a color from Six Cents called Jank Juice. So, 
The Funk and CT, you like the bubonic paint jobs. I'm going to be really honest. They're okay. But that dude is one of the most foul mouth idiots I've ever seen on Instagram. I would never give that guy a dollar. Just the way he talks shit about other painters, pardon my French, and other people. It's different than like when I joke about the Guggins or something else. This dude, the, that Chris Grow or whatever his name is that's doing the bubonic stuff, I won't give him a dollar. Uh, and the stuff that's been put out isn't even a paint job. It's a sticker on a bait. It's awful. So, this hand painted stuff may be good, but if I'm spending money, I'm taking my stuff to TK or Mike Russell. Uh, Mike Russell Bag 5 makes amazing craw patterns. Um, TK, Shad, and Gills are off the chart. TK's one of the best color matchers. I wouldn't give that guy, that Chris Grow guy, a dollar. And he'll probably, some one of his little fanboys will probably send him what I said. And I don't care. I'm just saying, dude, people are spending money with you. And just because they're giving you constructive criticism doesn't mean you have to be a turd to them. And don't talk crap to all these other painters. Remember where you come from. I do. I'm pretty humble. I mean, I'm blessed to do what I do. So I appreciate you guys participating in that awesome tackle warehouse you donate, you pick it, I get it. We'll review it right here on the stream. And I got some good plans for this thing. So, first off, first opinions of the tactical DD reminds me of a Mega Bass uh, Deep X crankbait crossed with a Lucky Craft D12. Uh, if you'll see, one reason I like this clear color, you can see there is a weight transfer system in here. And I just got Ghost Minute, man. This is just a good color all around. Love that. Got the weight transfer system in it. It's got a horizontal system in here, uh, right here, that goes back and forth. So you're going to get a little rattle, but it's not crazy. Um, dude, I believe I can catch them on there. You'll notice it doesn't have a real wide bill. Um, my these had t bills that aren't super wide and have a lot tighter action to them uh, it's also probably going to dive not as quick as a wide bill um, but it's at the right angle you see that angle of the bill if i'm holding it even it slopes down just slightly and it's very close to being even with the back it should dive pretty quick uh, but it's going to get really vertical as well so very interesting bait. I think we can catch it on there. Uh, Sweaty Gilly, I, I know I'm going to stream about fishing uh, next Friday night. I need to look at time. Uh, I might stream next Friday and Saturday night because Tennessee plays at noon. So uh, I'm a big, huge college football fan. So really like that Ghost Minnow color. Uh, Matt Tim, hats off to you. Good dudes for sure. Uh, maybe I can get on a. Maybe I can talk Matt. Taking me for a winter Chickamauga bite. We'll see what happens. I hadn't talked to him in a while. Tight wobble, cold water bait, meant to be burned. I don't, now, just my opinion, I don't burn crankbaits in the winter. Some people do. I have a lot better uh, throwing them out there and doing the, what I call the pulling method. Throwing it out there hitting the bottom and just slow pulling that crankbait on, on the bottom. Uh, still getting a good tight action out of certain baits, especially like this one right here. That's my favorite way to fish a deep crank in the winter. All right, let's go. Another Yozuri bait. I think I showed you guys this one last week. This is the 3DB pencil popper. You know, I like my shower blow and the little stick and all that. This thing's really loud. Really loud. Let's see if y'all can hear this. Really loud. This thing is going to cast a mile. You can see this uh, knocker ball in the back. Listen to that. Well, that's a. Uh, 
that's a cool bait. So this one's clear. Uh, they call it the uh, Prism Ghost Shad. So it's got this prism stuff in the middle. I think this would create a lot of flash. Really, really like this bait. That Yozuri Pencil Popper. Got 279 viewers up in here. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you smash that like for me. And another big thing is after the video, come back tomorrow, YouTube, leave a comment. Uh, make sure you comment something. What do you want to see um, next from Tackle Warehouse? Uh, what is a bait I should have got it that you didn't see? So, Dude, all lures should state on them how shallow or deep they can dive. They would make a shit uh, rule so you can organize tackle correctly. Thoughts? Man, to be honest with you, I can kind of look at a crankbait and tell you approximately how far a deep once you've got around so much. So, Big Red Bass, can you get Christine Fisher on the show? I would love to have Christine on. She's an awesome person. I'm, I guess Big Red Bass, are you the one that said that you ran into Christine Fisher and she said she was a fan of the bait, man? I forgot who told me that, but she is definitely cool. All right, let's move on here. Oh, yeah. Jerk baiting 282 viewers. We're going to climb. Let's get to 300 guys. Smash that like for me. Share the video. So, this is the Jackal Rearrange. An amazing jerk bait here. Uh, someone talked about the Mega Bass LBO system. Well, the Rearrange has a very similar weight transfer system. See if you can, guys, can see. see let's see if it uh, can. Oh, there it is. See that right there? That's the weight transfer on the Rearrange. Now, Sometimes this thing gets stuck. All right, you can see it in the tail of this bait right here. Watch that. Whoop. So when you cast this, or it's going to be in the forward uh, of the bait. When you cast it, this thing is going to go. You can't hear it now. But when you, uh, this thing right here, the weight transfer will slide out to the tail. And you know when it works because it pops. It sounds like a little gun going off. But I like the rear range. Love this color. Um, this is, I believe, Secret Shad too. And this is the 130. This is the little bit bigger one. Uh, it's This is bigger than your, your Vision 110 or or bigger than the Yozuri. This has actually got a very similar body shape to that Yozuri 110. But your transfer system will start right here as you cast. I'll get a hook in me if I do it too hard. It'll launch to the back. And you know, move that little transfer thing back there. That should tell you how much momentum you're gonna have uh, Casting a jerk bait for it to move that thing, but really good bait, man. The rearrange range been out a couple years now. I would like to get a few more. One thing I'll say, the rearrange range is an amazing fall jerk bait because it is designed to fish really fast. It is great uh, fast fishing jerk bait. All right, what's up, Braden Willie? Yeah, bud, we got 280 people in here. A little shy of the normal four to six hundred, but that's all good. There might be some other people streaming. I don't know. A lot of people are at high school football games. Uh, some people are just tired of fishing stuff, and that's okay. Um, uh, what do you think the balls stack up with Auburn, Georgia, LSU, Florida, and Bama? I think uh, I think Tennessee is right there. I think they're a better team than Auburn. Um, uh, I want to see. I'm not. I'm not sold on Florida right now, and I'm definitely not sold on Georgia because they only bring back one starter on offense. So we'll see. I think uh, we're definitely one of the top three teams in the East. Um, what kind of money do you think Guggen are paying Scott Martin and Wheeler? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Scott Martin's part owner of Guggen Bates, so. Probably not having to pay him nothing. He's probably getting a fat uh, check from percentage of sales. So, what's the best deal of the year at TW? Uh, honestly, Black Friday is. It can be, uh, especially if they run twenty percent off. 
Um, but sometimes there's there there's better deals out there than Tech Warehouse Black Friday. But uh, that's right, James. The, the 25 days of Christmas has gotten pretty repetitive. I'll i like to see some more stuff. So end up marking depths on my six cents crankbaits with a sharper on the bill. Doesn't seem to bother fish. Uh, it won't bother the fish. I promise. I mean. I don't think they care whether the bill is yellow or blue or anything. If a bass is getting so close to your crankbait, he's seeing a sharpie mark and size, he's not going to bite it. It ain't the bait's problem. So don't knock nothing over, dude. All right. Just woke up. You're here, dude. You must work midnights too. All right. Uh, I did also get a tack or house t-shirt uh i've never owned one so i got one now uh let's see what else is in here somebody suggested grab the contact mag wag worm so this is one i was really excited um about getting smells like a squid so it comes with the the worm is attached the tail is actually attached to the worm here uh, i already detached one not long ago But this is a really big worm and of course I got my color I had to get the plum but you see how curly that tail is it's gonna have a great swimming spiral action to it there's a lot of guys that like these small mag wags like the seven inch they use them as spinnerbait trailers old school dude I love the Rico I like the Rio Rico hook sets are free that's my favorite one but love that kind of got that lucky strike ringer uh, look to it I mean, the viewers are crazy fluctuating tonight. We're getting 286, 290, 270. Uh, I feel like YouTube probably should throw me up on the trend and maybe I should flash y'all. Just kidding, I'm not doing that. What type of deals do these YouTubers get when they affiliate with tackle warehouse, tackle shops? I don't know. It just depends. Some guys are selling their soul for 10% off. Guys like Alex Rudd, I'm sure he's kind of getting the same deals some of the pros get. Um, I don't want to say anything that's untrue, but, uh, I know at one time, uh, anyone that was on the Elite Series or FLW Tour could order from Tackle House and basically get it at cost plus shipping. So that's how they offset me and you order. We get $50 free shipping. They don't cause they're getting everything so cheap. So I don't know what the affiliate commission is. Um. Uh, to be honest with you, it would probably blow your mind, but standard for most people is 3 to 5%. So, you know, out of a $100 stuff ordered, guy might get $3. So, what are you doing? Bateman Jr. is back. We're still going through this box. All uh, right, this is one. Uh, this is the Mega Bass Sonic side. Really excited on this one. This is the flat side crankbait from Mega Bass. I did change this color up. Um, love this color. This is kind of like a, a chartreuse dust. Going to be kind of a spring color for me. You can get away with this in the fall. It's substitute of chartreuse black back. So, uh, again, this is actually a bigger um, flat side. That's really weird. I've never noticed this. This is a, this bill, can y'all see this bill? It looks like my card, a computer board, but it's not. It's like got a clear coat over it. It's almost like it's a plastic bill. It's almost like that's false computer board. Or maybe it's just a different material. It feels more plastic, but you can tell on the bottom where your normal plastic on your lip is. It kind of comes into this kind of computer board deal. But I love this bait. I actually had one uh, last year and got it hung up and lost it. But the Sonic side is a really good uh, flat side, meant to be fished fast. And it is silent. No rattles. Silent. What's up, Nate Swan? 
Junior's going crazy right now. That's about past his bedtime. Number one pet peeve for me, kids running in and down the house. He's gone in, gone out, gone in, gone out, gone in, gone out. I'm like, dude, stay inside or stay in the bait room. I like my AC electric bill to be cheap. Like that right there. Uh, TK says they sprayed clear over the circuit board. I like that. Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. That's why I was kind of like, man, is this like, you can't really fake this computer board deal. So, what are you doing out there, Brooks? All right, either go inside or stay in the bait room. Don't be messing with stuff out on the porch. Jeremy? Mm -hmm. So, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. All right. I had to do a little parenting. All right. Now I got some Rapala, the new Rapala, some of the new Rapala colors uh, that just come out. Let's see. We'll get all. Get back. You just knocked your new crankbait over. One, two. I put it in the box. All right, we'll get it out is it of there because we don't want to lose it, okay? Well, guess what? It's not in the box anymore. I put it in that box. Oh, we'll put... Okay. All right, I got you. All right, anyway. Can I pull up the Lancotti Cycle Gear on YouTube? I'll pull it up after the stream. Uh, I want to try to get through the box. We've been on two hours and 15 minutes, so... Uh, this is the new color from Rapala DT6. Love this. This is uh, Root Beer Crawdad. I'm a big fan of that old Bandit uh, Norman Root Beer color. I had to take this one out of the package. And to be honest, I don't have a lot of DT6s, but... Dude, this one's pretty solid. I think Rapala did a good job on the color scheme on this. Oh yeah, there it's in focus. Oh man, that looks really, really good. Great springtime color. It works good in the fall. Love that root beer crawdad. That's the new. That's a new color from Rapal. Come on, camera focus back. That one's good. And then they have a chartreuse root beer crawl. This one looks good too. I know TK is painting some root beer crankbaits in his day. Can Six Cents do tribute colors? I don't know what you mean by tribute color, like a throwback color. I know Casey still. Stop. Okay. Quit trying to be so silly. You quit choking yourself. And then kid back here. Anyway, you alright? What's wrong? You'll be okay. Anyway, here's the Chartreuse uh, Root Beer uh, DT6. Really, 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 really like this one. Just a little bit more hint of Chartreuse in there. I love the green glitter uh, up on top of that. Root Beer Craw and Root Beer Chartreuse Craw. You want to show bait off? You sure? You're getting awful antsy over there. I think you want to show bait off. You want to pick one out? All right. I don't want you trying to choke, act like you're choking, okay? You understand why? Okay. All right. So this is another new one. This is a, a shad pattern here. Uh, this is... I got to go rip some Mississippi River Jaints in the morning, not bait man. I'll get through this box. Thanks, DT, for joining in. This is a kind of a play off of Strike King color. Strike King had that green has that green gizzard, which I really like. There's the Rapala version, green gizzard shad. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. This would be a great fall time color right now. And what I noticed is it's got the foil uh, on the bottom, like that old school Rapala bait that was called silver. It's uh, got foil on the belly there. That's a really really good one. $150 for that bait. That's not bad. Uh, 
I've gotten desensitized to bait prices because of the swim bait groups I'm in. Uh, $150 on some of them hard swim baits really aren't that bad. If it's a good one. Cheer up. Come on. All right, a lot of guys have been asking, Bateman, do you have any of the BFEs, the best flipper ever? We got it. So first thoughts, uh, really cool looking bait. This is one of my favorite colors from Big Bite Baits. Uh, this is Hematoma. Um, very, it's actually kind of compact. It's, uh, I thought it would actually be bigger when I first got it, but it's kind of compact. Um, you can punch it, you can flip it. Are you trying to choke yourself again? What are you doing? Okay. What do you think about this bait? Hmm? All right, get out of here. You're not, you're not gonna participate no more? All right, Bayman Jr's mad because I got on to him for acting like he was choking himself. I, I don't know why he does that, but. BFE, uh, probably good with the four out flipping hook. Matt Pangrak uh, messaged me on IG and said he's caught a lot of fish uh, on this already. Um, but he did say, if you have any issues with the tails being bent, just boil them. They wanted to get clamshell packaging, but not happened. I like this. It's very compact. would probably be a really good... You could throw it up on the back of a jig, too, if you wanted to. Uh, definitely like this. Like the BFE. The funk and CT, dude, you are obsessed with the Lancotti lure. I'm gonna have to look this thing up really quick. Oh yeah, that looks, there's a lot of baits up there. Kind of looks like a G2 shell cracker. Yeah, kind of also looks like a toxic uh, bait as well. So I'm not going to say that uh, it's definitely cool looking, but there's a lot of jointed gill wakes out there. Uh, I think the price on that's about right though, 150 bucks. So I lost my six cents jank juice the other day, but I was able to catch a giant on it. That's right, as long as you can catch a giant. So Yak and Bass says it's legit. Uh, I know that dude's a hammer, so I agree. All right, another new one, new spinner bait. This is the Hog Snatcher uh, from Picasso. Somebody suggested this one, or maybe I found it. Um, this is the one they're really pumping on Facebook or whatnot. To be honest with you, I really like it. Uh, it's like somebody took an accent and a nickels and they muted them together. What do you think about this one, Big Junior? Hmm? Don't you don't know? Do you like the blades? So these have the this spinnerbait has these fluted blades on here, and they actually create a lot of flash. Yeah. Can you see that flash in Brooks? Watch. It's crazy. But very similar to a head design as a Nichols, a little bit, it's got that bullet shaped head. I like the skirt. It's, it's kind of, it's, it's a good looking skirt. Um, I like the wire gauge on it. It's, it's pretty thin. Uh, the hook is very sharp in this and it's got a little keeper. So if you guys like to stuff your spinnerbait trailers and stuff right here, really, really, I like this. This is the hog snatcher. I used to call a girl in high school the hog snatcher. Anyway. Uh-oh. Bateman Jr. has just bust out the Tatula 100. Did you find a reel? Yes. Yeah. What do you think about that reel? Yeah. Good. Good? 
show them the Tatula 100. Is that right handed or left handed? Left? No. You right. got it backwards. It's right handed. I, I, I'm used to my left, so. Yeah. You know, you're left handed, aren't you? So to hold that reel, you hold hold the reel in your left hand and then you reel your right. Can you do that? Okay. Or do you need to get a reel with the reel on this side? There you go. Good job, Bay Junior. What do you feel? Does it feel smooth? Yeah. Yeah? Feel smooth? All right, here is the Tatula 100. Uh, they actually gave me a discount on this. So when you, after you checked out, uh, they gave you the discount on the dial reel here. You've got the old spider on the side. Uh, this is your mag force adjustment. Uh, now, one Holy thing that's cow. different on this we just got is you, this is the zero adjust uh, spool tension. So you can't really adjust this. You can put a pair of vice grips or channel locks and move it, but it's meant to be in one spot. But Dude, this thing is, it's almost as light as my SV, um, but it has a lot, has a deeper spool than my Tatula SV. Uh, really like this reel. I think this is going to be a very versatile reel. Uh, I like the matte black finish on it. T-Wing system. Now this one's been out for a couple years. I just didn't have one, but I do now. Uh, seven to one. I think that's... Uh, you can do anything you want with that so that may be my new top water reel because i'm gonna be honest guys the old chronarchs it's just seen better days but they do have these in left hand re retrieving by the way if you're in alabama uh tomorrow go to the tackle trap in boaz they're having a dive with day they're gonna have some sales on dive with gear uh, seth fighters are gonna be there all kinds of dive with pros uh, so that's at the Tackle Trap in Boys, Alabama. They come up on my Facebook timeline. Great, great guys. I bought my SVs from them. Uh, Brian Lambert, great guy. But what did you do for the packaging for this reel? Mm, I, I dropped it. You dropped it? That's okay. We don't need the package. We're going to put it on a rod anyway, I think. So. Um, we just got something really good. I mean, we just got something really cool. What, what did we get that was really cool, Bateman Jr.? A rat. A rat. Yes, this is the Clayt uh, Bait Rat. Uh, we'll take this out real quick. You like your Tattoo Elite? It's not set it, forget it as advertised. It needs a lot of adjustment. Man, uh, I don't have an Elite. Once I get my SV, I, I will say this. Once you start changing lures and weight, especially in the SVs, the older ones, you do have to adjust. But um, I wish I could make it up there to drink beer and burn heaters with Fighter. Fighter's a cool dude. Supposedly, Mr. Lake Act, or Matt Robertson on him uh, said he's going to get Fighter to come fishing with me on Lake X. So he's already talked to Fighter about it. He said Fighter would do the bait stream as well. Oh my gosh, we just got a sticker. So I can't even get this bait out of the box. Um, sometimes I think guys go a little too far on the oh packaging, and then a guy like me trying to do an unboxing has got to rip the whole box apart just to get a bait out. There we go. Got it, finally. So this is pretty cool. This little rat, it's not a giant rat. Uh, it's kind of in between the, the big spro and the medium one. It's got two hooks. Got a little V joint there. 20 bucks. Obviously it's plastic. It's got a sweet mustache on it. I think this would be a great beginner starter rat. Oh, don't take that sticker off, dude. Here are the worst about taking stickers off. Where, where's the rest of the back and go? Where'd the back and go? It didn't just come like this. No, they don't send a sticker that's sticky on the back. You know, if you take that off and Neely finds it, it'll be somewhere. I might have had somewhere I was going to put that. Yeah, we got a sticker in there. But This is the uh, Clayt Bait 
uh, what they call this, the bowl, the water bowl. Uh, I like this. I think a bass would definitely eat this. And for 20 bucks, great deal right here. Really impressed by that. Hey, big man had to step away. What reel was that you opened? That was the Daiwa Tutula 100. The Tutula 100. I like the whiskers too. But is it me or does that thing look like it's smiling at you? Right, I'm going to try to get this one back in the box. What else we got in there, Bait Jr.? Oh, you found another Rapala crankbait. You got it out of the box like a pro. This is the biggest. So that's a uh, that's a Rapala DT10, and that new color is candy citrus, I believe. Citrus shad. No rattles in that. That's a balsa bait, my man. It sounds like a rattle. That's the split rings. No, listen to this. It does have a rattle on it. This DT-10 does have a rattle. Well, most of mine don't rattle. Listen to that. Dude, if it weren't for the whiskers, I don't know if I would have grabbed it. Uh, love uh, DT-10s, DT-16s. Uh, if you ever want to crank brush, this is one of the best brush cranking crankbaits ever made. Uh, just my opinion. Uh, made a lot of money on it, but I'm glad to see this citrus shad color in there. Come on, camera, get that focus in. Looks hot to me. We just got the awesomeness thing. Oh, yeah, that's a cool bait. So, Baitman Jr. just, uh... What's it called again? A jig? That is a buzz bait. That is the new... J Baitman Jr.'s got a, a, a topwater bait here. It looks good. Forgot we got this one. I'm not doing good with the open here. Yep. All right, I got you. This is the new Jackal Gargle. You know, I love me some buzz baits here. Holy hell, Slow down on the uh, pulling them out there, all right? This is the Jackal Gargle. Um, really different. It doesn't, from what I'm noticing, it doesn't have as much, wanna, it's not going to be super loud like a head knocking buzz bait or like the, the Mega Bass Jamaica Boa. It's going to be a smaller profile buzz bait, but check this out. So this thing's on, like, this blade's on like a free swinging swivel, very short arm. It's kind of going to make a gargling plopper sound from what I'm told. Can I feel it? Yeah. Wait, no, I mean, hold it. Yeah, you can hold it. You got to hold it up. If you'd move your seat like I've told you up here, you'd be closer, but that's okay. This is definitely a unique bait. Uh, I'm going to have to throw this around for my final thoughts. Uh, it's hard to beat chartreuse and wide or anything like that on a buzz bait. They didn't have many color options in stock, so I grabbed this one. This was black back chartreuse. This will work. But uh, very interested uh, in, in this bait right here. So, Well, we're fixing to jump off, dude. It's We've been on for uh, two and a half hours. But there's still more baits. And there's still more baits, yeah. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven baits left? Yeah. Holy smokes, maybe we shouldn't order from Tackle Warehouse anymore. It gets too much stuff. No, but... I know, but we do. I feel like helping this one first. Well, this one's been a pain in the rear to get back in the package. Another one thing I like when I buy baits, I want to make sure I can get them back in the package easy. Yeah, for some, you, don't, you can't get it back in the package because you have to rip it. This thing just keeps... How in the world do they get that? 
Oh, what you got? Oh, Smithwick Rogue. Well, the camera's up here, bud. There you go. Got him an old school Smithwick Rogue. I believe Sycamore Outdoors suggested that. Uh, he wanted a root beer one, but this is more of a traditional root beer stock. Oh, this is a good looking rogue. Got a gray brown back on it. Really, really good looking color. Dude, the rogue catches them. I mean, it, old school jerk bait, it still catches fish. Great one. Alright, don't have, probably won't be able to put that one back in the box. You probably ripped the box wide open, didn't you? Yep, sure did. I didn't know. I didn't don't know. rip the boxes wide open, son. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to put those. I'll show you one day. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Alright. Bait Jr. coming in hot with the black label peanut. So this is like the Zoom Mutt right here. Uh, this color is Gizzard Shad Full. Uh, definitely throw it in the fall. This one is nasty. So, uh, my man Craig Powers told me a tip. He said, these full baits, when it's bright bluebird days, and you're not, whoop, and you're not getting any bites, uh, that's, he said, those tiny full handmaids catch them. Uh, again, this is black label ball. So, this is the peanut. This is their Zoom Mutt replica. Come on, camera. There you go. Oh, man, that sucker looks so good. That's a full gizzard shad right there. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to step up. I, I think I'm going to order some more black label uh, boss as well. Some companies go with try and true. Some try to innovate. I agree with that. Uh, I agree with that. John D. says the gargle sounds like a whopper plopper. Hmm. Oh, here's a new bait I did not have. This is the Spro uh, Whack 'em Off. Uh, no, Guamaku Shad. Guamaku Shad. Is that right? Guamaku Shad. I think Shin Fuke designed this. Oh, slow down, dude. You don't have to grab everything. So I gotta explain everything, okay? Uh huh. Brooks is wanting to get a bait like every five seconds out of the box. Y'all know I had to get me a little royal shad color. So this is a very unique uh, looking lipless crankbait. Very loud. Big time knock in there. It's got some rattle and a big old knocker in it. It's got big knockers. I like big knockers. Uh, of course I had to get that, you know... Bendless? Royal Shad, they call this they call this purple rain, but that's very similar to the Royal Shad that was popular with Pradco. Purple back, white side, shorter belly. Lake Gunnersville guys love this color right here. Come on, man. I don't like how this camera at one time it'll focus really good, the next time it's not. It's not. So Love that. I don't think the camera's doing the the Wakuma Shad Wakuma Shad. Justice. But hard to pronounce it. Hard to pronounce it. Oh, I figured away how to do it. Dude, what I tell you? If I say leave something alone for a minute, what's that mean? Huh? You got it. Go ahead. Brooks has got the Tackle Blade Walker out right now. What do you think about that, Bait Junior? Good. Good? I mean, what about it? What's good about this bait? I really don't know. You really don't know? So what kind of blade is that? So this is a bladed jig. Uh, and this is the Blade Walker from Tackle. I've not thrown it. Uh, threw it in there. But uh, supposedly you can put this snap in a different position. Um, somebody said something about you can tie it on one spot or a different spot it makes it dive and one makes it wake I don't know um, but it's meant to be fished near the surface like a wake bait but it's a bladed jig so um, very unique 
So I'll give that, I like that. I actually like, uh, to be honest with you, I know this is going to sound weird, but if you took the blade off that, you would have a hell of a good looking swim jig. Just being honest with you. Uh, but really cool idea. I will say there's been a few guys I've seen on the internet saying that the hooks are breaking. So um, I don't see why that would be happening. Whoops. I don't, I don't think hooks break. You don't think hooks break? Yeah. Yeah. No. And don't have, I don't won't say there's much flex in that. Well, there is. Uh oh. So. Guys, that ain't no good. Look at that. That is not good if a hook will bend like that right out of the package. Holy smokes. Uh, the hook just broke on this tackle bait. What the fuck? Pardon my French, Brooks. Uh, Y'all seen it here on the Baitman show straight out of the package. The hook just flexed and broke in half. Now I don't have a bait. Holy. So if me, that is not even that strong, can break a hook. Uh, yeah. Dude. I can't even fish this bait now. You was going to? Yeah, I was going to fish it. I want to throw it and see what it was. So, uh. What the heck? Like, I am actually really disappointed. Uh, so yeah, this was the Tekel Blade Walker. Dude, if, a, if you can do that as a person, and I wasn't even trying that hard, I, I just thought, man, that thing's flexing, and it flexed big time. Dude, that's freaking trash. Yeah, I won't be sponsored by Tackle, but um, I'll just be honest with you. I'm just going to reach out to them and, on social media and just say, hey. I was going to think hanging up there. I'll just tell them straight up, give them some, some feedback. Say, hey, man, I really like the idea and everything. And I was streaming live and trying to talk good about it. And say some people had issues with the hook, and next thing I know, it broke. So, shit. Anyway, what else we got in there? Sorry for the language, Batman Jr. I didn't mean to use that, okay? It's not appropriate language, you understand? Yeah. Okay, he said, yeah, he don't. No, I don't think no one wants to show that. I don't think no one wants to show that. You don't want to see no feather treble hooks? I don't remember ordering these. Ah, a spot sticker finesse jig. I don't I, I guess I can take that blade off and that's what I'll do. I'll just take the daggum blade off and I'll put it on a six cents divine jig. How about that? Because I know that hook ain't breaking. So Break, yeah, I got me a thumbnail. Uh, this is really cool. This is uh, the spot remover, not spot sticker. I don't want to get confused with my buddy Ryan Coleman. So somebody said, really get that. I like that. You got your little screw lock here uh, for your trailer. Living rubber. Uh, it's got that old school spot remover design with the flat top there. I like that. That'd be a great little late fall, winter time jig right there. I might even put a little trick worm on the back and get real fancy. What's up, Dallas Maverick Fat Bass? One more. Actually, we got two more. I don't want to see what this is about. It's hooks. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. I'm more handy. So, we the box empty? No. One last bait. What we got here? The final. The final bait, a jackal, DD squirrel, uh, oh spider, chartreuse, spider, purple. where? Kill it. No, I. It, it Where's was, it at? Kill it, it. It was under there. It crawled under there. 
You better not say kill that spider too little. Cole and Jay are watching. They love spiders. This is the Jackal DD Squirrel. Uh, deep diving style jerk bait. My color, my buddy Caleb Morgan suggested this. He says it's fire. Ooh, I like that rattle in there. This is going to be one I think I can slam. Okay, uh, now in the spring. In the spring. Love that table rock shad color. Purple chartreuse. That's actually the closest color to jaint juice there is, is that one right there. Really like that. I will not eat the spider. No, gross. I've heard a lot of people really like this one right here, uh, the Squirrel DD. I've not thrown it. Dives about 10 foot, so I like that. It's a deeper diving jerk bait. Very similar like to a Lucky Craft uh, Stacy or whatnot. Let's see if we can get, get the focus on on this thing. Come on, focus. There we go. It was huge. Is it a huge spider? Yeah. Is it a tarantula? I don't, it, it looked like it had fat belly. It had a fat belly? It had a fat back. And a fat back. Yeah, it was probably like... Dude, I've, I've, I, Gary Kennedy, I have never broke a hook. I've never bent one out on a fish. Well, a lot wire hook, yes, but I've never like broke a hook. Like, was able to physically bend it with my hand and just break it. That should never happen. I mean, I don't care who makes the bait. That should never happen. To me, hold on. To me, that is a something faulty in the mold. It's getting too hot. Uh, obviously, where the hook is being made, I don't know. Right here at this Union Junction, it's okay. getting too hot or something. The molding process is that's not what, being able to handle that's it. That's what I was going to say. You had no clue. You don't know what you're going to say. What do you think it broke? Do you think it's because I'm super strong? No. No. Oh, so what are you saying? I'm not strong? <laughs> you are, but I don't uh, think you can... No, I can't, bro. A hook's, a hook's stronger. Let's see if I can break this spinnerbait hook. Not happening. Anyway. Purple. Your royally purple is crazy. Um, so anyway... We're going to put this stuff back in here. Uh, I'm going to put this in, in, in the house. So. Um, now that spider's just thing, maybe chill. Well, quit being a sissy. It's just a spider. So I'm going to take this tack warehouse decal. Put it up on the back of the old laptop. What do you think about that, Big Junior? I don't know. You don't know? Like now it can be cool like Luke Duncan and have a bunch of sponsored decals on the back. Um, and I'm probably going to take a picture of that Tekel Blade Walker and uh, let them know. If the blade didn't snap, then it must have not been tempered properly. That's that's the only thing I can think of. Um, I don't. I'm not a bait maker. I don't know about the heat stuff, but I do know that a hook shouldn't snap like that. What if I took that bait out and I hooked into a PB and it broke my effing hook right at the bank boat? Brand new, right out of the package. That just is not good. So uh, I'm just being constructive criticism. It, um, got, there's no, I'm not bashing tackle or the bait. Uh, just disappointed. And if there's an issue with something, you got to let people know there's a way to go about it. So I'm going to. Now, I'll put it on Instagram, but we're going to have to go about it the right way. So, anyway, we've been in here almost three hours. I think we got to shut her down. I got to grab a thumbnail. What do you think? Did you have fun tonight? You should write. You should write spider. No, not spider. The broke. The hook. Yeah, I'm going to write him a letter. Yeah. And uh, we're going to write Mr. Norm. Get him a thank you card for them baits. What do you think? Yeah. All right, dude. All right, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for joining in. Now, 290 people on all night. Um, college football starts tomorrow. I'm still working on TV show stuff. I'm going to try. If I, I can do more than just stream once a week, I will. But Friday nights, it's going to be the deal. Uh, if Tennessee plays uh, 
at noon we'll we'll stream in the evening so um hopefully we'll get some cool stuff on here once i get these tv show episodes knocked out we're back to making cool stuff you never know but um got some things in the work we are going to open up channel memberships i'm going to get some decals ordered and stuff dude why are you nuts hanging out up on a stream so we're going to have some giveaways uh big six cents giveaway coming up starting sunday um let's get to fifteen thousand subs um yeah i think you'll like what we got going if i if i got some time we'll, i'm gonna do some more bateman midday so uh, streaming really actually kills my channel, unfortunately. But oh, I want to also shout out to Cole Harkin for joining me last week. Uh, great guy. Thanks, thanks all of you for hanging out for almost three hours. And uh, sometimes Bateman Jr. gets a little hard to handle, but come on, give me some nuts. Look at that. Look at that. Thanks, bud. But this is my guy. I'm glad he'd rather hang out with me talking about baits than smoke crack. So. Secret handshake? Secret handshake? Yeah, let's do it. No. Wait. High five. Okay. Alright, secret handshake. Top. Bottom. Boom. No, up. It goes up, down, boom. So, high five. Nux. Or, it goes up down boom we'll figure it out by the time we figure that out it'll be time for new Batman stream so guys thank you so much hope y'all enjoyed the unboxing and everything there's gonna be a lot of details on this